Yo, I think I'm late, but this dude is tweaking uh, out. Right? So, uh, we're gonna rewind this. He's supposed to not be having a podcast, and I think he started actually way earlier than he's supposed to. I have two sets of headphones. Yes. Uh, yes, children. Yes. So, I, I haven't done setting up yet, but I, I saw him spurging out and actually tweaking out about um, them talking shit about him. And he made it about views and money, and they he didn't show proof. So he's he's utterly humiliated, violated, and destroyed. Because they are talking crap about him right now. So listen to this. Get a load of this. Come on, views on the show. You do to problem. Now, are you guys seeing lag? Are you guys seeing lag? Hold on. Now as people are saying it's okay now. All right, yeah, we, yeah, see what I mean? How weird. I had nothing. I had nothing on my end. Absolutely nothing. Okay. Anyway, getting back to what I was saying. Um, yeah, like that's the thing. Why do you think that some of the stuff right now that's being harped on and being focused on is the stuff that's been going for years and years and the detractors won't let it go because they know they've got me. They got me in a position where if I am to try to prove my innocence, I will just immediately further expose myself to problems. They know that. They absolutely know that, correct? Right? So, there you go. So, now you're, you know, it's, is it ever going to go away? I don't really care. I just want I just wanted to get it all out there, you know? So, now, uh, now I'm here and I'm doing my normal stuff, okay? So, Deanna says they're talking mad shit about you. Now, what did you think they would be doing today? Let's be honest here. What did you think they would be doing today? If all of yesterday, they had the record highest views they've ever had. <laughs> you see? If they're cloud chasing. They're cloud chasing. Until yesterday, including the end of yesterday, when he was on their post show, and he was kissing ass, and he put on the Nazi hat just to flex, just to be like, oh, you guys, you see it? He wanted to show up again on their podcast. And now he's like, what did you think they were going to be doing? They're haters all along. This fucking piece of trash. And he got exposed. He got violated yesterday. He got humiliated. Insane. Utterly. His biggest fucking nemesis. The person that he can't stand. He wants this dude dead. Fucking Keemstar. He went on the stream. He violated him. Everybody, they ran a train on his fat ass. On views on the show, right? If they He's never coming back from this. This is it, man. This video is going to get like 100,000 views. That podcast. And everybody's going to remember him for this. If not for jerking off. If I got to be honest, jerking off, way more innocent than what he fucking did yesterday. He got destroyed. If he was a wrestler, yeah, you could say he got buried. He's not coming back from this. If he was a wrestler, he would get the shovel, he would get a ticket to some fucking indie promotion somewhere. He got collapsed beyond human comprehension. Didn't get outright answers or proof, which I- And they're clapping him right now. They're clapping his corpse right now in, in on their stream. Told everyone I could not provide, correct? It's all- Correct. I can't provide any evidence. Please trust me. And then, uh, man, it was so good. I, I can't- I can't get through the whole thing, watch it again. But I'll, I'll I'll do something. I'll watch his uh, decompression from yesterday. And this was all laid out. So how did you think they were going to react? Okay. Honestly, right? <laughs> I you know. And they're probably coming on that being said soon. So he's gonna hate him even more. He's, he's never going on that podcast ever again. He's never setting foot on anybody else's stream. Unless they're a lol cow or they got literally one of you. I just, you know... I don't, you know... I just don't know how else you thought they were going to react to it. So, they're going to... What do you think they're going to do? They're going to ride the gravy train, correct? Now, here's the thing, right? Again, when you're doing a show like that and you're on the spot. Bro, today he's he's wearing my literally least favorite shirt. Thanks for asking, Based Iron Pill. This is my take for his shirt today. It's my literally least favorite ever. And also, I don't I don't think we need to have Keemstar on because he he's been on everybody else's podcast at this point. He's told his story like a thousand times. It makes no sense at this point. Uh, you got to answer as best you can, do as best you can, and judge as best you can, correct? Right. Everyone could agree there. I don't, I'll be honest with you. Do I trust Stuttering Craig a 1 million percent? No, I don't. Maybe 98%. Bro, bro, I don't trust anybody 1 million percent. 
always the chance. There's like always the chance. Look at his fucking for personal gain. Craig is gonna reveal his champion's username. Look at how fucking pathetic this piece of shit is. And we're talking, we're not talking about his bank account fucking password. We're not talking about his uh, social security information. We're talking about his username for a video game that he claims he spent up to $100 or whatever it was according to my notes. I should post them in chat because I forgot to post them yesterday. I put them on pastebin. Bad things can happen, correct? Bad Always things can, can happen. And it might not even be intentional, too. It might be a mistake. It might be something, I hate to say it, something stupid. like Something, something stupid. Something. Yes, the trolls are going to happen. Yeah, he's, he's struggling so hard. He's struggling, man. He's clinging on for dear life. Just say you're a fucking liar, Phil. We all know this. Just say it. Just acknowledge it. I've had people who I trusted, and next thing you know, oh, I got hacked, and now all this information leaked. It's like, what? What? Ah, you know. oh, somebody leaked my info that uh, makes me look guilty of something that I did. Fuck, man. It is. Um, paranoia. Hundred percent. I was not going to one hundred percent. Uh, be able to trust him. All right. At, at any chance, right? I don't trust anybody one hundred percent. It may be my parents, chance, but you just can't. Now, uh, I mean, yeah. People are saying, "Oh, their podcast this morning is all about you." No shit. No shit. This probably, you know, today, what I'm hoping is today it's all about me and then they'll move on next week and they'll do their own crap, their own stuff, their own normal stuff. Right? They will. But I, I think it's in, in their best interest as a show every once in a while to have an interview like this because they show that they can actually pull it off. So they can have Boogie on, they can have Wings, they can have some of those dudes. Maybe they can have, uh, I think Rich was interested in going on there. So I think at this point they, they could make it a thing, man. They're good at doing it. Um, and he said, yeah, yeah, they're, they're going to move on with their own crap, uh, which I, I don't mean, I don't think he meant was like in an insulting way. It's like when you say, oh yeah, do your own shit. I don't mean like it's shit. It's just, you know, you know what I mean? No shit. This probably, you know, today, what I'm hoping is today it's all about me and then they'll move on next week and they'll do their own crap, their own stuff, their own normal stuff. Right. Um, you know, so there you go. And, there you go. You know, it's up to them. We're not supposed to have a podcast today, by the way. I think he's still talking. He's still talking. <laughs> this is five minutes from now. And he was talking for like, what, 15 minutes in total. Like, what, 20 minutes in total? Ah, uh, dude, there's supposed to be no podcast today for questionable reasons. We don't even know why. I guess because yesterday there was only podcast. I don't know. I don't know. I tuned out immediately after the side scrollers thing ended because it was like five hours of like the fucking craziest shit I've seen in the DSP cinematic universe. Them to do whatever they want, right? It is up to up to their. See, a lot of people are saying, "Don't go back on the show now." <laughs> Don't go back. He's not going back. Being too harsh as well during the show yesterday, right? I do. I think a lot of you guys are being too harsh. A lot of who are you guys? Who are you guys? There was no f DSP fans in chat. There was 670 cuck, but 670 cuck's gonna lick the cheese off of DSP's dick. He's a massive fucking cuck. What do you think he would do? Where would you think he would be? He used to be in that being said chat, saying that he would donate Phil hundreds of dollars just so he can make us mad. And then he didn't donate anything. Oh, uh, I was so mad. Uh, I wish he donated. Um, on them. I think that the interview... Yeah, I'm sorry for the disgusting comparison. But that's that's what I meant he would do. That's how dedicated he is. He loves him some uh, smegma. As, basically, exactly... Okay, that's going to be the last one. Exactly how I thought it was going to go. You know what I'm saying? That's how he thought it would go. That's how he thought it would go. Bruh. I... I there's no way he ever thought that Keemstar would jump on the, on the stream. There's no way he thought it would happen. And then the three of them would fucking run a train on DSP. Didn't think I was gonna win anyone over. I didn't think violated him. Instead, it was at least uh, here is one focal point where you can go and here's the information. Here's Phil's answers. You can see them. Bro, that's it. That's no, really the purpose. No, you you literally don't you don't want to say this. You don't want to send people there. You don't want to do that because that makes you look terrible. It makes you look guilty as fuck. And then especially watching the follow up and everybody being like, yeah, I don't I don't trust them. I, I think he's lying. Craig said he thinks um, DSP's champion's account is down from the rafters. Uh, Adam called him a bitch. So, yeah. And he's was, not going back. And they're not talking about video games. It's not happening. In part that, 
at least now it's at somewhere where also people who are detractors and stuff aren't going to benefit from it. You know what? what I'm saying? How? It's not, it's not like, oh, this was on someone who actively always is, is benefiting off what? of what? Killing you. That's, that's not the case. Bro. 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 A, a little bit of a flex here. I was muted for five hours yesterday, and I had a thousand people watching me for no reason. Just because I was watching this and I was laughing along. How exactly are the fucking trolls not going to benefit? Half of them have already talked about it on their channels. And half of them are about to talk about it. And they're going to talk about it again. And again and again. Because there's a lot to talk about in that. Yes, everybody else but you is going to benefit. Because you got clapped. You took the big fat L and everybody else was getting W's. It was like watching Oprah. You get a W. You get a W. You get a W. It's not, you see? It's not. So, there you go. Um, <laughs> David, he says, I would not recommend anyone pointing anyone to any podcast for the good of your brand, dude. Again, let me ask you a question, David. Ask him a question, David. When we are on this show, Okay. Okay. My show. How often, honestly, do we go into giant discussions about this? Obviously, right now we're doing it because it was the big topic yesterday, correct? But once we go into correct. The gameplay, <laughs> once we go into new stuff, correct? Once correct? Stuff, Bro, correct, correct coin is to the moon today. It's going crazy. Correct? He said it three times in a single sentence, bro. <laughs> oh, yeah, I saw a KG, but nobody cares about that. A fat horse fucker his opinion nobody cares about him he likes to have sex with animals who cares about what he has to say about anything oh no that's way too loud I'm sorry go watch and do whatever you want right leave me alone let me do my own thing for my own and now it's leave me alone again let me keep scamming people dude let me gaslight everybody else just a blatant lie dude I'm Nieta, I'm on every one of my streams the entire time you wanna know why cause I'm the host we don't talk about it all the time. You're full of shit. If you think it's pretty often, it's because that's what your brain wants you to see. It only oh yeah, I think I think one of the the things that made him the worst is when he brought up Cat being beaten up by by Subaru Man for absolutely no reason, just to make himself look like a good person and like I I can treat you better, baby girl. Your boyfriend beat you up. Ah, uh, what a fucking piece of shit, man. And I'm not saying that's good. If that happened, that's fucking terrible. He's an asshole. He's a fucking abuser, but there there are no records of it because in uh, in Michigan it's um it's not public. That kind of um how was it called? Restraining order the information is not public. It doesn't let you see the reality. We're not just sitting here talking about it all day. You're full of shit. Okay, you're a drama queen. You you're a drama know. queen. This was not supposed to be a podcast, Phil. What is happening? Okay. Now, um anyway. So, yeah, now it's now it's out of here. You know what I'm saying? Like, it's out of here now, thank God. It's out of here. We're now still we're talking about it. Normal day. Let's get through Hogwarts. Tonight, let's have a chill stream of Like a Dragon Eshan. Bro, Tomorrow. this is, like, the most pathetic I've seen him in literally, literally, like, years. I, I don't even know when was the last time. I guess the bankruptcy thing, because he was so humbled. You had 1,000 watching. Phil had 300 with talking. I mean, yeah, it's not really a, a fair comparison. It obviously was like something massive happening. Uh, of course. Of course. People that are fans of this, they're going to gather around. They're going to watch stuff. So it's it's not fair to compare. But yeah, it was a, it was a lot of fun. Like considering that all I did here was just give Adam kisses and just muted myself and gesticulating the whole time, it was a lot of fun. And it was the most engaged I've been at doing something for five straight hours for a long time. And I ate fries. Yeah, I did have some fries. So that's probably the, the second, third time I've ever eaten on stream. It was so robust. We're going to have fun reacting stuff on PSP Reacts, right? More Oblivion. We got Wolong oh, continuing on this week. We got all second this stuff. HDMI port and dual screen fund. There you go. I'm going to get a docking station next. It's going to be a dock and I'll have like 16 screens. And all of them is going to be playing Phil. And I'll put them all on the screen as well so you can see. We're going to play 16 different DSP stuff at the same time. What's going on? And we can focus on that and say, enough of that nonsense. Now he's trying to just, like, go back to gaslighting himself. First and foremost is himself. Is the most important. He went on stream at all. Zero. Wait, oh no, I fucking, I said it for real, dude. I said that I'm gonna get naked if, uh, if Kim comes on the podcast. Did I say that? I think I said that. 
Fuck me, I'm not getting naked. I lied. I'm gonna do something else. I'm not getting naked. All right? And that's it. <laughs> it's not happening. Don't believe me, still won't believe me. I don't care. That's fine, right? That's fine. <laughs> it's uh, not a big deal. It's not. And you know, again, that was not You have no you have no proof of me doing it, even though I just admitted it. <laughs> no, you're getting scammed, dude. I'm Oh yeah, I can get naked and turn off the webcam. I can I can scam you like that. The intention was, oh, Phil's gonna go on a podcast and immediately <laughs> Just imagine me naked, alright? There you go. It's about as much as you can imagine. I'm a skinny fucking white boy. There's going to be ginormous revelations. Ginormous revelations. Yeah, he said, like, he, he said his wife got beaten by her ex-boyfriend. That's a pretty big revelation. Uh, there was also, um, he was talking about, uh, secret uh, behind-the-scenes medical stuff. Secret legal stuff. Yeah. ...of evidence in his favor to show that he's innocent of everything anyone's ever said about him. That was not the point. If that was going to happen, it already would have happened on my own stuff. You know what I'm saying? Why would I, why would I have saved it for someone else's podcast? <laughs> He right. wanted to get the benefit. If I wanted to reveal drama, it would be so I can benefit from it, not somebody else. Hmm. What a fucking greed monster. Cherry limeade flavored. Now we're deflecting, talking about cherry flavored fucking no, gout I, juice. I know. Slinty says, don't believe everything people are telling you right now. There are, you know. What are you talking about? Their, own, their podcast from today, everyone is being biased one way. Oh, biased? Let's be, let's be honest here. Bro. Let's be very honest here. What do you think people are going to try to do today? What? 100% they're going to try to cause drama. Bro, you fat fucking retard. Yesterday, he said this is the fairest shake he's ever got. Literally yesterday. And now they're just telling what opinions they had from yesterday. And they're biased. They are biased now because they got a lot of views and a lot of super chats. Wow. Maybe you're just a piece of shit, dude. Why is everybody constantly against you? Why? That's what they do on the internet. That's what they do. That's how it works. What a fucking gaslighting piece of shit. That's what they want. So they're going to tell me that these people are absolutely horrible. They're going to tell them, oh, Phil's probably over on his streams. And he's saying that he, you know, he just said he doesn't trust stuttering Craig. Did you know that? That's exactly what they're going to do today. That is how the internet operates. What? I don't think he's just going to take it as, at face value, knowing that people do that. Uh, you know, that's why this is not. That, why do you think we're doing a mini? <sighs> talk session they made 20k in super chats good good they should have made more we're heading into hogwarts for the rest of the you know they did a great job that's it they they did the job if people want to give them money that's awesome baloney i'm not talking about this all day you know what i'm saying we're not um, in dsp made like 200 dollars off of his most determined supporters uh, uh see you in the slytherin house sounds good we're oh and now we're talking about video games we're talking <laughs> we're jumping in soon when this is 10 minutes ago. Okay. We're still not jumping in. We're still flailing. So, Sarah did a super chat. Uh, a great interview. Hope you do a part. Oh, two. yeah. Yeah. Uh, that, that is a good point. Many people are going to watch the interview over the next week. Like, people outside of the Vortex. They're going to watch it and be like, wow, this is five hours. This is, like, so crazy. People are so hyped. Uh, I guess the one thing that they got shit for is that okay, the, got, uh, the, the racism joke, which... I, I don't think the point was that it's an offensive joke. The point was that he claims so hard that he has changed, right? He is a different Phil. And then they're like, wait, Phil, but here's a here's a joke. You have to snort to bring mucus into your throat so you can swallow it. Instead, you'll just be coughing on it. What? You'll feel like choking on mucus constantly. PSA, don't comment on something that you don't know anything about. Correct. I mean, it's, he's right. <laughs> he's roasting some dude talking shit about post-nasal drip. Bro, go fucking blow your nose. Do the snore, which and then your head off. Oh, it's hilarious that Phyllis posting his little drip and asked to snore. I'll be coughing the whole stream. He's right. Did you cough the whole stream yesterday? Five hours? Okay. How much did you cough? A five dollar tip. Hold on a second here. Okay, hold on. Count those tips, little bitch boy. Count them up. Play those animations. It's there we go. <laughs> it's loading. Go. So, what a name. Uh, Super Snow Carl Turbo HD Remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm not going to type out your whole name, but we take half my screen. But thank you, oh, what a name. He's you see Gundam Crew if you lied about business loans. Hold on, what? 
Uh, yeah, uh, give me a second. Let... Never asked me to expose screenshots of a transaction, actually. Oh, yeah, uh, semantic, you man. Spend however you, much you want on anything. You're really? Gonna your money. Really? Yeah. Okay, then give me $1,000 so I can spend them on a surgery to save my life, okay? And tomorrow when I'm unboxing a new PlayStation 5, don't ask me where that money went. That's your opinion? Don't ask me. It's It's my business. That's your opinion. And don't ask me when I'm getting the surgery. I'm not going to tell you. It's none of your business. It's your business that I need the money for this thing that I tell you it's for. It's not your business where that money goes that you give me for that thing that I said it's going to. Sounds good? It better. Opinion? Thank you for it. Uh, no, that wasn't even in question. They never, no, not a single person said, hey, show us all your transactions. That, that like literally never happened. Yeah, that's unreasonable. Nobody would ask that. By the way, so I will say this because I get the feeling at least over the next couple of days, we may get a few new people here on streams. Probably not, not for too much longer, maybe another day or two. <laughs> There's someone who's just coming to attend my content. You can't type in chat. Uh, oh, you know, uh, hi, I want to talk. I'm here. I'm a newcomer, <laughs> but I can't. It's because we're in sub-only mode. Okay. And when you're in so disappointed only, face you can't talk unless you've subscribed to the channel for 24 hours you might say well, why does phil do that because he's a loser Control. protecting his family we don't have sub only mode we're protecting cat literally non-stop non-stop trolling bots and everything i know because when i first started streaming on youtube two years ago that's how it was and it was he is of course he's tired he spent the whole day yesterday coping so there you have it um and like gaslighting himself. That tires you. That wears you down. That's massive stress. Trying to convince you yourself of things that are not real in reality. Of course he's stressed out. So Gundam proved he lied about business loans. I didn't see about that. But I saw that he put his like his mortgage as a business expense, his whole mortgage. And that's not allowed, apparently. But I don't know. I don't pay mortgages. If someone joins a new stream and can't talk often, then they'll just leave. You're absolutely right. At the same time, if people come to the chat and they just can't talk at all because there's 14 bots spamming racist stuff, then, you know, no one can talk and it's just as bad. Um, racist stuff get banned automatically, Phil. A regular can actually talk. Just like here. Racist stuff gets leaned in by Nightbot. And also everybody who says night for any kind of reason. <laughs> so that just, that's just how it works. See, don't question I don't know. it. He says, some bank statements are coming up. Why does anyone validate transactions on the bank statement? It's a real five-minute question. And again... I brought some of the things on that bank statement into question. One of them, they like what? The other one, they had a kind of a, a half-assed answer. For what? Me. The first question was, I have one pet, one pet, Jasper Kitty. Everyone knows this, right? I don't have a secret kennel of dogs or other creatures in my house. Okay, you don't have to have a, a lot of dogs to be buying expensive stuff from a pet store, Phil. You, that that makes no sense. All these I don't know why you think that makes any kind of sense. You can just go there and buy a bunch of fucking toys and catnip that costs a hundred dollars. There we go. Actions on that supposed my bank statement that have Suppo that supposed my bank statement. I'm so sorry they didn't ask him about the nine thousand dollars the dude spent from his bank account, not his supposed bank account, his bank account. Actions like what? This rat fucking bastard, rat. What would I possibly be spending that money on for one cat? It doesn't make any sense, right? At all. And then on top of that, um, you know, all these supposed transactions that are iTunes transactions. Number one, I see again, I don't know how it works. Number one, you know exactly how you've worked how it works, and you've told everybody. There's the classic video, DSP Gaming Gotcha King, when he was talking about asking his relatives to buy him iTunes gift cards so he can spend the money on mobile games. He told you, he told you this dude. It's this dude, but with a cowboy hat. This same dude. Because I'll be- And now he doesn't know. And it's also the dude who admits that the moment the money goes in his PayPal account, it's transferred to his bank account. And when it's in his bank account, he can do whatever he wants with it. You guys, I, I kind of alluded to this on the show i don't think they caught on for the little bit that i do spend every once in a while on a mobile game i, I admitted publicly yesterday on the show i spent like 15 dollars this month on the brand new street fighter mobile game I, i'll publicly said it, i'll say it again i spent like a dollar here a dollar there you know honestly okay this might be a kind of an extreme take that's too much that's too much that's not for your business you talking about needing fucking money and those 15 dollars can be better spent doing something else come on mobile games that are free Let's be honest here. If you're a fucking beggar or panhandler on the internet. 
uh, like dollar daily packs or whatever. When Try zero. Try no money. Spend on mobile games and frivolous bullshit like that. Because 15 bucks counts. You can you can eat for a day off of 15 bucks. The worse it sounds. Oh yeah, this was that was yesterday. That was yesterday. More he talks, the worse it sounds. And then they're like, wait, Phil. Wait, Phil, make this make sense. When you do that, you do it comes straight from your PayPal account. You know, your PayPal account is linked to you, whatever your mobile account is. That's how you pay for it, okay? Why would there be all these transactions against a, my bank account? It doesn't even make sense. Like, the, the whole shtick of the detractors is that every day Phil sits here on stream and begs, correct? They beg. Correct, yes, he correct. Begs, begs, begs. Right. The money comes in. Right. goes to a PayPal account immediately, Right. Then he immediately goes and he spends all that money on mobile games. Where is there any transaction? Well, okay, man. Like, if we wanted to have a more detailed timeline of how this goes, we would actually need to hack your bank account again. So somebody has to do it again. If, if it has to be clarified even further. Come on, man. They have actual statements of places in fucking, like... 10 kilometers away from where he lives and he got went to a restaurant he went to get a haircut he went to get this he went to get that it's all in the vicinity how do you fake that how do you fake that you are busted you are busted admit it they they let him admit it they tried to help him where the money goes to a bank fuck me that money on a mobile game it doesn't make sense right and you guys i've already told you guys when money comes in all right to, uh, to my bank account, which is usually from my 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 monthly PayPal. Excuse oh. me, my monthly YouTube. If DSP actually does a second interview, he's either completely delusional, thinking that it made him look good in any way, or he's just a masochist. He's uh he is delusional. I've been saying this for a long time. So many other people. He is both a liar and delusional. And yesterday it proved it because he believes his own bullshit. And this right now is him trying to believe his own bullshit, and he knows his bullshit. My bad. Um, that goes right to bills right away. You know what I'm saying? Like, I go straight, straight to everything. Straight to the mortgage, straight to everything, right? So, the thing that gets me is... The thing that gets me is they say stuff like that. And it's like, but there's no validation of it. It makes no logical sense. I mean, if you, if you pull... It's like, yeah, that's a, that's a, that's a good comparison. He drinks his own uh, Kool-Aid. He mixes up the Kool-Aid, and before he gives it to Chad, he's like, you, you see, you guys, this tastes great. You want some? Let me, let me take a shot first. If you stretch things to try to make it make Yeah, yeah. If someone had a ton of money in a bank account, could they use oh. that bank account? And this is... I wish he had the deflecting skills in Wolong. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great one, dude. That's a great one. But this is him trying to answer the questions when nobody can confront him when nobody can call him out on his own podcast in his own little hole that's what he's trying to do right now to to uh, deceive his own little fans who already believe him nobody watching you is going to change your uh, they're going to change their mind about this pay for transactions via itunes yes that's essentially what you would see on the bank statement right and that's what's public there for whatever that is i don't know if it's real or not right but what do you mean i don't wait 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 I don't know if it's real or not. I mean, if you if you pull strings, if you stretch things to try to make it make sense, like if someone had a ton of money in a bank account, could they use that bank account to pay for transactions via iTunes? Yes. That's essentially what you would see on the bank statement, right? And that's what's public there for whatever that is. I don't know if it's real or not, right? But if I if the whole narrative is Phil begs his viewers for money, get makes all this money on a stream, oh! immediately goes. You got a closing. shout out on side scrollers. Big ups. Was it a good shout out or a negative shout out? And what did I get a shout out for? I hope it's for a song. Because that's the most meaningful thing that I've ever done. Because these streams are just me sitting here having a beer shit talking them. On mobile games, right? Then it's coming from my PayPal. You would never see a bank transaction. In addition, it doesn't make logical sense that anyone would take money from a PayPal account, transfer it over to their bank account. Oh. Which probably the most fair they could have possibly been. Absolutely. Absolutely. I have to give a shout out to ALT, by the way, the, the old man, uh, because um, he's great and he talked to Craig and he gave him a bunch of stuff, a bunch of info that was assembled and he helped him do a better job. 
And that's it. Big ups ALT. I would like to make that clear. Massive shout out ALT Insider. Which there's fees for that. I know for a fact. There's been times when I had to pay a bill oh. and I had to transfer Why money. was he even investigating the bank leaks if they weren't his? Bro, like, uh, I, I don't know how to answer these hypothetical questions that are most definitely not true. From my PayPal to my bank account, when that happens, there's... I, I, I don't know, man. I, I don't know why. I don't know why. Fees involved. Why would you do that and then pay for mobile games with that? Why not just pay from your PayPal account and avoid fees? It doesn't make... Literally, when you... When you... Look at these statements. If you look at them in detail and you really start to say, okay, circumstantial, circumstantial, things that... Consider, what? It doesn't make sense. What doesn't make sense? Up. Bro, it does. It doesn't. It does. That's the thing. People will forget <laughs> that shit. You know what? Oh, I mean? dude. People will absolutely forget that. Because you know, you know, the kiwi farmers look at that shit with a fine tooth tooth comb. He, he, they go, like they they zoom in really hard on that. And I've seen them. And I'm pretty fucking stupid. I've seen them. But I at least read what other people have to say and people that question them in the explanations. And I'm confused. Uh, I'm convinced. That's what I mean. That shit. So this this whole thing is worthless right now. The thing he's doing is just trying to keep the the few fans he got from going away because he's desperate. He's really desperate. And this was not supposed to be a podcast, but it is. Yeah, we'll we'll, we'll just ignore the stuff that doesn't fit the narrative. We only focus on stuff that does, even though it's circumstantial. And that's the story of my life at this point. Okay. Everybody is against me, dude. It's the Matrix. Anyway, they want to take him down. I don't even want to talk about it anymore. Really, like, we're... <laughs> he doesn't even want to talk about it. Once we finish with this, we're getting into gameplay, and I'm not going to talk about this all day. Oh. That was the whole point. He probably oh, stayed up all night to think up of a way to debunk everything they said, and to cope while trying to explain everything he said. Uh, yeah. Yeah, because he had, uh, like, pre, pre-made, pre-packaged answers, and they didn't fly. They did not fly. They all flopped. And someday, I don't know, probably tomorrow or something, I have to go through that podcast, take a bunch of timestamps, because we're going to talk about this on Sunday, and we got to be actually prepared, because people are going to show up, they want us to talk about it, so we got to have some meaningful content. My One of my favorite parts was when Adam asked him, what, what is actually meaningful content? What is meaningful? Show yesterday, okay? <clears throat> okay, um... Jade, what's going on? It's just cool to see you. Say hi to Jasper. Uh, oh, look at what this dude says in chat, and uh, I'm going to let him talk about stuff. This dude says, uh, Andrew says, I'm not relaxed. I have given you money when you were hard up. So was I, but I still did. Now these guys bring all this evidence out. What am I to think? And this is probably bait, but it, it's going to be a good segment. Here's the thing, Vispy, and this is the absolutely the, tr the truth here, okay? Um... It's this simple, all right? It's absolutely this simple. For everyone else on the internet, these th certain things are allowed. Oh, no. Yeah, they're not. I've been the whipping boy of the internet for 10 years. You are. You're still going to be. You're still going to be. Never going to stop being. If they give you... They gave him so many chances, man, to come clean, to admit to stuff. To just, like, have, have this moment of honesty. Honest and transparent to the best of his abilities, right? I guess the best of his abilities is really not that good. I've been the one. Since this is how you don't play started, <sighs> I reacted badly to it. Essentially, I've become the guy to ridicule and <laughs> I've become the guy. At every, at my <laughs> he is the guy. And I just that narrative <laughs> has continued for 10 years, correct? It has. Take a look at the history. Every time that one thing ends, another thing begins with these people. They're never satisfied. They're always out for more blood. Correct? Correct? <laughs> correct I mean, coin is to the moon today, dude. Correct coin is crazy. Is anyone else can say can can play a mobile game, can spend money on something, can do this on a street, can make a dark joke. Oh, How many He still provided not one jokes, piece of evidence right? at all. I'm oh, now we we're gonna go back to the joke. Because he saw this is the one thing that people are holding up against that podcast that the joke, that was not fair. That wasn't that bad of a joke, right? Make a dark joke and it's like wow, you're a racist. He he hasn't proved he he won't prove. That's that's guaranteed. It wasn't even a racial joke, but you took it that way. Why? They didn't wrong? accuse him of being a racist. My mind doesn't even go there. It's he had plenty of opportunity to defend himself. It just didn't work. Your mind goes to the racial joke instead of just it being a dark joke. Probably that's your fault because your. Oh, so Adam is racist. Right? There you go. Those racist overtones stuck in your head. Now. Oh. <laughs> 
anyway. Why didn't you tell him that on the podcast? Why didn't you call him racist on his on his show when you had him there? But now we're gonna do it here, right? Oh, we're gonna do it behind the scenes. We're gonna call him racist. Else could make that kind of a joke. Uh, and don't talk shit about my boyfriend. Hey, hey, we're gonna pull up. It's fine. That's okay. It's passable. Or all right, it's a bad joke, but not a big deal. Move on. For Phil, it's like let's hang him out to dry. <laughs> For, for endless amounts of time. Let's hang him. I have, again, as I said yesterday, I have over 100,000 videos on the internet. <laughs> and all those videos, there's all kinds of little stuff. Uh, all kinds of stuff that you can oh. isolate. Right? If he admitted to champions, I think it actually would have been really good for him. Everyone already knows what could the trolls say besides I told you. Yo! It wasn't a racist joke. It's a joke about the racist cop droob. Uh, he he did admit to champions. He did admit to playing it, but then he lied about the money he spent. Because Terry's nobody to say no. There is definitely nobody who can actually say nothing. So now he just has to validate himself. It's your fault for thinking it's racist. Yeah, you're racist. If you think this is racist, you're racist. And I'm glad they didn't pull out the the stationary clip. Launching detractorcast IRL when? Uh, the detractor cast in real life. What is like IRL? Like, what, what would that mean? Right, isolate. And I'm not defending, you know, bad jokes. I'm just saying that, again, anyone else can do it and get away with it. I can't. Uh, no, they're not getting away with it, dude. Unforgivable, unacceptable. No. But everyone else can make the same mistakes and it's fine. No, right? that's not how it is. That's kind of messed up. It's that's not how it is. Playing field, which is why I just stay right here, right? I just stay right here. I we just stay life. right here. Do my own thing. I tune it all out. You tune it all out and you don't address it. What happens? Oh, well, now it's all true. See, Phil won't address <laughs> it. He'll never go on a podcast and sit in the hot seat and talk about all these issues uh, because, you know, he it must all be true. So then I go on the podcast and I sit in the hot seat and I tell you as much as I possibly can. And now people will judge for themselves. And that's fine. And there you go. And that's all I care about. Period. And we're done with it. Okay. And we're done with it. A $6 tip. We're done with it. Ah, oh, this was it was great, man. <laughs> oh, and then somebody says this b before it gets leaned. Why did you bring up? Oh, it it got leaned. It literally got leaned. Holy shit. Uh, fuck. If somebody can rewind this stream, let me rewind my own stream. Somebody uh, it, okay, why did you bring up cat's restraining order, but not the screenshot? Don't you think sharing your wife's personal experience is worse to talk about? He brought up Cat being beaten up by Subaru Man and having to put out, put out a restraining order. Out to you via email to collab in Halo. No. I don't even play Halo. Uh, you could. I appreciate the tip. I don't. I don't play Halo. I don't have any plans on playing Halo. He doesn't play games off stream, so you you can't do that. He only plays mobile games. A off base. I haven't played Halo in over a year, and I really don't like it anymore, as you know. Uh, I, you know, last year I told you guys how upset I was with how bad they dropped the ball there. Oh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Everyone has judged that you are a scam artist. There we go. There we go. I hope you don't mean this about me, even though I am a scam artist. Ha ha ha. I am an artist. There we go. I'm 50% what you're accusing me of being. So, uh, infinite, how originally was insanely good, and they just completely... Yeah, that's it, man. He's he's finished. Man, you you go through these uh, the comments on that video, even people that are not, like, actual detractors, they're like, oh, yeah, this dude is... Abdullah, this dude is fake as fuck, man. This dude is lying. The, chat and the, link should pop up there. the most positive stuff he gets is, is people who don't agree with them picking apart his uh, slave trade joke. Which, again... It wasn't the point that what the joke was. The point was that he's supposed to be a changed man, right? He's supposed to be not the old Phil. But Phil, look, this is a clip from you from a fucking year ago. Eleven thirty, we'll go right over to Hogwarts, and we're gonna try to get blah blah blah. We're gonna have to four solid hours of gameplay in Hogwarts today. Try to hammer this out and get to the end. And we're still not playing games, by the way. Twenty minutes from now, in real life. He's been live for an hour. You know what I mean? And try to get as far as we can. I really want to try to finish this game up as soon as possible. Not to say that I'm going to rush through it, okay? Really. Not to say that I'm going to rush through it. <clears throat> okay. Okay. What are we doing now? Hello? 
Oh, he said the intro is gonna be 20 minutes. Well, the villain said, oh, that's that's the villain said, I hope you watch Suicide that's a lie. James Gunn. Guess what? I have begun watching Zack Snyder's Justice League. Bro, we don't give a fuck. It's this is not this is not on the docket for today. I haven't done anything weird. I just pressed play, and it's a, it's just oh. a square for me. <laughs> <laughs> wait, wait, wait. Well, I don't know. Maybe it's true because you can you can fact check it. Because um, those uh, restraining orders stuff in Michigan, they're private. So you can't actually, like, prove it. So it might be true. Nobody really knows. Yes. Is it a 4-3 aspect ratio? Is it a square? Wait, it, is, is it 4 by 3? three? Like, I'm watching it on, on an HBO Max app. Uh. It's wide screen. I'm like, what is going on? Like, I, it's, I'm like, I mean, it's fine. It's not bad that way. But I'm watching it and I'm like... Why is it four three? I haven't. I no one's answering. No one's answering. Not four three. Yes, it is. Oh, Sup Silver says, get this, it's considered unboxed IMAX. Sure. Oh. I, think I watched. No podcast. How long has he been at this? Uh, he's been at this for an actual hour, almost fifty-four minutes. Last fifteen years, twenty years has been widescreen. And it was supposed to be twenty, by the way. But he gaslit himself for like most of it, and now we're we're trying to deflect talking about other it's, stuff. It's purely HD. It's not like it's pixel. It seems like I don't know. Flashback scene. Some of the fights I'm enjoying, but of course I still have strong criticisms as well. And I think it continues. What's I'm not here for this. We're not here for Zack Snyder's Justice League. Seven. All right. Cool. That's what I did. I'm also not anonymous. I'm Phil the Stampede. Yeah, there's no level one podcast today. This is a, an intro to his gameplay because he wanted to not spend a lot of money playing Kale. Uh, oh, fuck. Uh, he didn't want to spend a lot of time doing the podcast, so instead he just Did you notice is not. He changed bottles mid interview. Do you think he had to switch to gin when things got heated? Uh, I don't know. That's That's. I don't, I don't know. I didn't notice Here that. But he almost cried several times. I think he actually tried to cry. Because there's a there's a certain thing that he does, which I would call the baby man voice. When oh. it's like... Or maybe we can call this the sympathy voice. When he's like trying to get pity from people and he puts on this voice. It's like, uh, there's something that I have to reveal. That um, I, have, I have health issues in real life. And my wife has health issues. And I'm do dealing with legal things behind the scenes. You can't just always be about Dark Side, Phil. So apparently what they said was at least a month, if not longer, all right. Who knows what will happen in the next month to, to, to longer. I don't know what's going to happen. You're not going back on. You're not. But, you know, based on, on that, that's what they said. No, you're not. So, we'll, you know, we'll go from there. I have not had any further contact with Craig since the show yesterday. So that's where we're leaving. You're not, Phil. You're not. The Super Chase says, you need to take the opportunity that was given to show Craig proof. Finally, just proving ridiculous rumors is worth the tiny risk. No. Andrew. No. Yeah. We can't do that because there's still the tiny risk that his life could be destroyed by somebody finding out his completely irrelevant username in a video game. And, uh... You know, it's going to be a bit, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Oh, uh, Craig said he emailed yesterday? Oh, so we're lying now. Phil lied. Let's let's catch him in the lie, actually. The show yesterday. All right, we'll see. But, you know, based on, on that, that's what they said. Okay? So, we'll, you know, we'll go from there. I have not had any further contact with Craig since the show yesterday. I have not had any further contact with Craig since the show yesterday. There we go. So, that's where we're leaving it for now. Andrew did a super chase says you need to take the opportunity that was given to show Craig proof. Finally, just proving ridiculous rumors is worth the tiny risk. Thank not you. doing it. Okay. Thank you, Andrew. I'm not talking about yeah. it. I'm sure there will be further discussion. There will be further stuff going on. And, uh, you know, it's going to be a bit, I guess. I don't know. We'll see. Okay. Hmm. Putting this on 1.5. Take a sip. Read a tip and snort. Tip should be 39. Oh, it should have been 39. Yeah, I acc accidentally put 29. That's my fault. It should be 39. Thank you. I straight hours without even getting up. You know what I mean? Hey, big ups, uh, Psycho, for the sub. Where are we going now? People don't understand. Hold on. People don't understand. What, it's hot in his office? There's landscapers outside? His back, oh. his back hurts? What people don't understand is that just sitting around, 
all day is not good for you. Like, a lot of people are like, why can't that streamer just go for 24 hours? Like, do you not understand how bad that is for your body? Your body is meant to have movement. It's supposed to have blood circulation. It's supposed to have, you know, burning of calories and, and you know, muscles moving. It's not meant to just sit sedentary all day. You know, so normally on a normal day, I do my podcast. Usually take a, t a quick break, then stream another hour or two, then take another break, and then, you know, finish the stream. Yesterday, literally, I sat here like five and a half hours like a lump and didn't even move. Right? Okay, so? Right? So? So I was like, oof, that's not good. You can go out, uh, have a walk. You can do some exercise. You literally can. You you can do that. You're allowed to do that, you know? You just don't want to do that. That's that's the difference. Right. <laughs> <laughs> Sedentary. JS Times, I was looking at Bulletstorm gameplay. I saw your old channel, you mean the original... Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Jade. What are about here? Andrew, can you relax? <laughs> oh, Andrew. Man. Well, I'm glad you found the current one. The villain says you like Guardians of the Galaxy, like Suicide Squad, then, then I'm probably going to like it. I'll definitely watch it. Andrew, thanks for the super chat. What are we talking about here? Andrew, can you relax? Oh, this is the super chat I read from earlier. It's like the dude said, I helped you, Phil. I didn't have a lot of money, but I still sent you money. And now they bring out all this proof? Can, we, can you seriously relax? Can you, can you relax, Phil? You've been tweaking out for an hour straight. You're not even supposed to be having a podcast, but you're having a tweak cast. Why are we doing this? It's almost like you want to gaslight yourself into thinking that you're right about stuff that you're blatantly wrong about, and you lied. I'm here again. I'm pleased because exactly what needed to happen happened. Correct. What? Like every, it was exactly how I, I said this is what it was going to be. I said it beforehand. This is what it's going to be. It went down. It's done. Now we can focus on on my new content moving forward. <laughs> <laughs> we are done with those discussions. There's nothing further to be said. My piece has been said. So there you go. Uh, come on, man. No, no, no. Oh, he blocked GameStar again. Lie about playing WWE champions when you still do. You want everyone to believe you over the detractors. I never lied. Well, you know, I will actually say this: something that Craig said on the show not yesterday, but actually many, many shows ago. He because I know I watch the show every day, and one of the things that he actually said was very, very true. Wrong, very true. And I'm funny. He didn't say this on the show yesterday. I'm shocked he didn't. All right. So I will say, I will say. It. He basically says sometimes things start with like a little white lie, right? And then there's a narrative now built onto that lie, and then it has to continue one way or the other. So. You know, at one point in the past, when you know, I mentioned that I had been playing a particular game, right? The, the, the stupid WWE Champions game. The stupid and then Champions after game. After a while, we get people bothering me about it constantly. Now, what does it have to do with my content or my streams? Absolutely nothing. And again, seeing it from my perspective, my perspective. What? Is okay, okay, okay. This is this is kind of a stupid question, but what does it have to do with the streams? When he tells you the money is going to his bills and he's barely getting by and then you find out that he spent money in a mobile game how how does that have to do with his streams answer me this people i'm innocent i have humans people are saying i've done i'm innocent how are you innocent isn't it innocent until proven guilty but then you get proven to be guilty and then you just say you're innocent a lot of people in in prison that have been sentenced to be in prison claim they're innocent but they don't show any proof Yes, I casually play these games with press time wasters, and every once in a while I drop a couple bucks on them, and that's okay. it. They're saying literally I'm like I'm spending entire life savings and shit on this stuff, right? Like I'm blowing everything. That's true. So, Come on, Phil. Imagine that. Imagine you're just trying to be a content creator on the internet, putting out content for your audience. N literally everything coming at you from the outside has nothing to do with you or your content. Now, what's what is the way to handle it? Is it just say no? It's just it's bullshit. Just forget it. You prove it wrong. That's the way to handle it. Oh, and yeah, I play it, and I do this. So now now all of a sudden you've opened the Pandora's box the moment that you've admitted that you're actually playing the game that people are accusing you playing, right? And now it's just, it's just going to irk further discussion, further further derailment. That's the best way to, to approach it and say it. Derailment. I don't want to have my entire stream every day be about this, you understand? I don't. So I don't, the easier way is just to brush it off and say, no, forget it, it's not true, fuck it. Nonsense, right? But in reality, yeah, there is a hint. And again, like I always say, there's a nugget of truth there. The nugget of truth is, yeah, you know, I'm playing. I'm playing a stupid mobile game to kill time every once in a while. It's not a big focus. It's not a big deal. It's not a big focus. Why you want to kill time though? You constantly say you have no time to do anything. Why would you want to kill more time? To do this. And uh, the, the cool thing was that he brought up he was playing mobile games while he was watching a movie with his wife. So you spend quality time with the wife, and you bust out the phone and you play Champions. <laughs> Oh, that's hot. We want to kill some time spending with the wife until she goes back to playing video games. Now people want to make up all this shit, so just say fuck it and just don't talk about it, right? So that way it doesn't become a big thing. So what happens? It becomes a big thing. So my detractors are obsessed, crazy people. 
nine times out of ten. Oh, my trolls are bad. Nuts. And that's the thing. It starts with the little white lie, but now the narrative is established. My trolls are bad, so, dude. Up later on, why are these trolls so bad? Yeah, I've been playing it. I'm, just, I'm lying because I don't want to talk about it on my streams. I Guys, why is he getting so many trolls? What is happening? Right? Then why? Like, why are they so crazy? Well, you got, now we got you. you know. They are watching his videos, and they're holding him accountable for the, thi the things he says. How come? No, he should be able to say whatever he wants. And you just nod like you're listening to Young Thug. You're just nodding. You're headbanging. Ha! Right? <clears throat> so there you go. Right? And that's what happened. But I'm surprised he didn't say that yesterday. Because that actually would have been... <laughs> that super chat is great. Is it... Does in any case ever in your in life, is it okay to just tell the little white lie? I don't know. I don't think it's ever worked out for me. Really. I don't think it's ever... Stop lying then. Okay. Andrew, again, what are you talking about? What is he talking about? Bring it up. Talk about it. Andrew, let's find been? out. Where have you been, Andrew? Andrew? Thanks for the super chats. All right, we're not derailing ever again. What you're, you, Andrew? This is not your show. He's <laughs> derailing everything. <laughs> what is he saying, Phil? What is he saying? What was the super chat? Was it wiped away? What was the super chat? I can't see it. Where is it? Where is it? He's super chatting. He's derailing everything. Where? Where? No super chat. Phil. Oh, but this was like uh, 15 minutes ago. It's not your show. Said about something, I'm sorry. Okay. So, Andrew, make a YouTube channel and restream the guy. And then you can talk shit about him. There we go. You, we found out the solution. It's not your show. We had a hour show about this yesterday. We're not going to talk about it all day. All right? Please relax. And if you don't relax, I don't want to remove you from the chat. But if you're going to do super chatting to get attention, screaming and acting ridiculous, you're going to be removed. Screaming. Like everybody else. Okay. Screaming. <laughs> this is not your show. Now, we got shout we got some shout outs here. Uh eight dollar tip. From Radical Jaws. <laughs> uh I'm basically the only person who asks eight ball questions. Yes, you are. You he... know, I forgot I, I don't mention it anymore, right? I don't bring up the magic eight ball. Because it it's stupid, man. Last year it was a silly thing. It was a silly thing. Out, I think people just stopped caring about it too much. Um but here we go. Magic eight ball question. Radical Jaws having Thai food for lunch. He says, if I go for full spicy, will my behind take a pounding from the depths of spicy hell? So here we go. Well, Radical Jaws, but take a pounding from the depths of spicy hell. Excuse me, you have to laugh. <laughs> uh, outcome, not so good. So there you go. Radical Jaws, you're in trouble. That's hot. You're absolutely in trouble. Hopefully you didn't order yet, correct? I hope you didn't. <laughs> okay. <clears throat> I, under I don't understand how people can be sycophants. I found the interview started with Hogwarts in a moment. I got one more dollar tip here. Uh, an anonymous dollar tip says, I, under I don't understand how people can be sycophants. I found the interview to be fair. Keen was pretty respectful. Because you're, just because you're a fan doesn't mean you can't be objective. Again, as as much as people grilled. Sycophants. Right? As much as there was a grilling, that was what I went on there for. Right? Like, do you understand that? Like, that's literally. Okay, you got roasted. That's that's what you got. That's what I went on there for. That's okay. I, I mean, that was the, the whole premise of the show. Grill me. Ask me anything and I will give you my answer and now you have it. Right? That, so I don't understand what the pro I really don't understand what the problem was. I, I you know, for me, that's my perspective. I was I'm okay. There's with no problem. No, it was great. It was great. There's no problem. This is the best thing DSP has ever done in terms of content. Literally the best thing ever. Went down on that show. The most entertaining thing ever. Now people are saying, oh, all this other stuff happened today on their show. Well, I don't know. I didn't see their show from today. Maybe I'll watch it tonight and I'll be very upset. Maybe I'll watch but, it. But hold on, hold on. You just shit talked them in the beginning of this because they were talking trash about you because they got a lot of views and a lot of money. And a lot of attention. Do you do you not think that now you're contradicting yourself? Now he has no opinion. You see? I'm like, eh, it's okay. I, eh, I don't know, man. I don't know. But they be talking about me because they made a lot of money yesterday. I didn't see the show. All right. But, I didn't see it. You know. He already has an opinion about it. He's just trying to fence it. The interview. I was okay with the interview. Okay. Okay. Good. I was okay too. It was great. It was a lot of fun. Anso Kamaru says I missed a tip. Anso Kamaru, I'm literally reading every tip. There's another tip here. Dollar tip. Someone says, when you deny outright for so long that admit you play, it looks bad. It, if it's not true and don't spend money, why lie? Again, because I don't want it to become everything on my stream. It didn't matter how I answered. It wouldn't have mattered. You understand? With these detractors, this is how they operate. What? No matter what you say, it's bad anyway. So if I say I play it, oh, it's horrible. So now everything we say is true. You corroborated it. No. All I said was that I play it. Oh, okay. Well, too bad. We don't believe you. Everything's true. Well, there was no proof, dude. It was just you saying stuff and then contradicting yourself and then being called out. That's not very convincing to anybody anybody 
And of course, now we're in the Echo Chamber DSP live stream, so obviously they're gonna agree with him. Because if you don't, you, you get the Andrew treatment, and you get told to calm down, or you're gonna get leaned in. Because you're yelling at him, and this is not his stream. This is not Andrew's stream. All right? Or, okay, I just don't play it. Oh, I see he's lying. So it's like, either way, it, it, you know what I mean? Either way, it's, it's bad. There's nothing you can really do about it, right? There's nothing you can do. You're damned if you do, damned if you don't. So you finished anyway. Why did you go there then? Why did he do the, the interview? Why? If nobody would even, like, consider any of that to be correct. Uh, okay, are we good? I'd like to start Hogwarts now. Are we good would, would we start Hogwarts? Oh, yeah, we're actually playing the video game. Oh, that's impressive. It only took him an hour in... An hour. So this was a podcast. Oh, dude, no fucking way. Absolutely, positively, no, I disagree. Madara's guy says, if you showed your account and showed it wasn't the same account, the troll, I think the trolls would have went away. That is 1 million percent false. If I had immediately opened my phone and sent a screenshot, the trolls would have said, see how quick he did that? He was ready. He was prepared to do that on the show. That's obviously... Oh, my God. Shop. Whatever. It's Photoshop. It's this. It's that. You see what I'm saying? And then, the, the, again, why not do it? Because of the risk, right? What what, what risk, dude? Craig would, would give that information out to the internet. Bro. I mean, there's always risk involved. No. Right? Come on. I've, I've had situations where I've sent information to people, and then, oh, I don't know what happened. My email got hacked. What? And now Bro. I have information out there. Like, what? Bro. That's happened. I'm like, what the fuck? Now, you know, I'm not saying that that's what that Craig, that that would have happened or whatever. I'm just saying there's all these situations that could happen. And, like, why even put yourself in that level of risk, Right. Nah, bro, that's just bullshit. I'm not even gonna bother See, considering so why, that shit. Why create it's the just risk? nonsense. That's the question. Why create the risk? If the benefit doesn't exist, why create the risk? At this point, nobody should even be entertaining these segments. This shit is like... It's fucked. You, you got plenty of chances to prove everybody thinks you're a liar. You're a liar, Phil. You're a liar, okay? You're a fraud. You got plenty of chances. For people who are thinking in his best interest, because they would actually wanted to help him, they wanted to help him. They weren't trolls. They weren't biased. They wanted to get a good interview, and they wanted to help him. He screwed himself out of that. Get fucked. Fuck off. You're a liar. If no matter what I do, I'm guilty, then why create the risk in, in, to, to begin with, correct? No, Anto Kamaru, I just read every tip, dude. I literally read every Why create the risk? I'll tell you why. Uh, because in the end, what he did was... He basically encouraged people to go out there. He, 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 uh, loop. Yes, uh, he encouraged people to go out there and look for cats restraining order documents on the internet. That's what he said. Because he said, oh, you guys, oh, you haven't found the restraining order because uh, Subaru Jeff was beating my wife? Yeah, Phil, you're fucking asking people to do that shit. Fucking idiot. Just to make himself look good. Because somebody said, oh, Cat was cheating on fucking Subaru dude with fucking Phil. Because that's what he said. That's what Jeff said. Big ups, uh, Mr. Extravagant, for the super chat. Help! That hit my email. Yes. Huh, just like... I, I believe you, Anto Kavaro, but... I, I don't know, man. Tip that came in this morning. All right. Are we going to start playing video games now? So we can tune out? We can drop a bunch of viewers? Through? Did he get blocked or something? I... Not what I've little mini stream I just did here, and let's jump into Hogwarts. Right? Little mini stream. Okay, we're playing video games. Hogwarts gameplay, please do. This is a chill stream, meaning there will be a lot of interaction during it. Oh, snow. There will be a lot of interaction during it. Okay, so let's see the thing from yesterday, the decompression style session. How long is that? Is that like four hours long? Oh no, it's it's just an hour and a half. What? Pretty crazy. Okay, we can All get through that. Alright everyone, what's going on? I literally just got off the Side Scrollers podcast um, a little bit ago here. Uh, it was like maybe... What is wrong with ago, his brightness? With wow, this looks terrible. After I appeared on their show. Today's March 16, 2023. I was on their show from 9 a.m. until after 2 p.m. my time. Yes, that's how long the show lasted. And we didn't even cover everything. Which I didn't think we would, honestly. I did not think it would cover much or, you know, there's so much to talk about. When it comes to insane amount of stuff. Wait, did he change his t-shirt? So he had a different t-shirt yesterday. I was expecting that it was because it was to bad. Insane show, and now you know, looks like there's gonna be a part two at some point, which I'm okay with. I'm sure it's not gonna be. Oh, it's the same t-shirt? Oh, uh, I don't know. But yeah, what are you gonna do, right? Guess it looked worse on the podcast. So, are we ready? 
uh, to get started here. First of all, it looks like someone tipped me. What, how why did Well, you... I got a tip. Why did you what tip me? Days. Who? No. One Minute Man? It is absolutely not. Is this who I think it is? So One Minute Man, because he tips at the same time, huh? Is that a schedule tip? And it went through when he wasn't even live? Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm just saying it could be. Absolutely not. I thought maybe this would have been One Minute Man, who always yeah. supports every day. No. He this always supports every day. You see, it was lined up at the specific time. Thomas, twenty dollars tipper. He says, "I thought you were good in the podcast." When Keemstar Randley came on, you stayed composed. You talked to him even after all he's done. You stayed. you stayed composed. What did you think he would do? He wasn't composed at all. He was fucking sizzling. Why would you think DSB was composed? Still being civil. Yeah. He was shitting in his fucking little tiny diaper. Uh, I'm not gonna be an idiot. I'm not gonna sit there. Uh, but yeah, this is like this whole stream is for DSB can come back and get basically. I don't know, like, um, enabled. And all the progress, if any, that had been done during that podcast of those guys actually trying to help him, all that progress was undone. Because he came to his stream, a bunch of LARPers showed up to fake support him because they like to gaslight him. I'm, I'm really on board with that. I, I think that's a lot of fun. A lot of real, genuine dents showed up to throw money at him, to tell him how amazing it was. And... He basically got uh, paid for bad behavior. He got negative reinforcement, which is fantastic. So that, that's great. So we know that no progress, that all progress that could have been made during that podcast was erased. It was gone. Be uncivil to someone. You know, it is what it is. You know, he wanted to, to jump on the show and make it about him. Make it about him. It wasn't about him. Oh, was he show. talked about you. Oh, though, oh, and now it's like, he stole my spotlight. Keemstar, this dude who is a hundred times more popular than me, he made this show about himself by basically just simply existing. Simply existing. I mean, right now if fucking, uh, I don't know, Keith Richards jumps on my stream and sits right next to me, is he gonna steal the show by just being Keith Richards? Of course he will. I don't know why I, I thought about there, Keith, right? Keith Richards. Uh, but it is what it is. That's how he is. Again, what did I say? He has to be the center of attention. He has to be involved in everything, right? And uh, he proved it. He has to be a... Like, wow. Know. We're already dissing him. Not even two minutes in. We're dissing him. Huh. I don't even have to say anything else about it. I mean, you <sighs> yourself every day, right? And through your actions. He proved it through his actions. Big ups, you are dead for the sub. So there you go. You are alive. Um, <laughs> okay, so that was a tip that came in. Like half an hour ago. Thank you to whoever that anonymous tipper was. So let's talk. What do you guys want to he talk about? He stole my spotlight. What do you guys want to talk about? I'm open again. We got another 90 minutes to just chill. Obviously, we're not doing gameplay now. We'll do 90 minutes and I'll go on break to eat my dinner. And then after that, uh, <laughs> come back tonight with a chance to Oh, something great about that podcast was when he was talking Whatever to people know. about his day. It's like, oh, I wake up, you know, I take a shower, jump on stream, then I get off stream, and then I jump on stream again, then I get off stream, then I, like, prepare everything for the next day. And it's basically, like, 11 p.m. at this point. It was, like, almost midnight, so I just go to bed. Oh. Is it possible that he wails on WWE as a business expense for a tax write-off? Bro, a hundred thousand percent. Because that falls into, like, uh, video game expenses. You know he's doing that shit. He cannot not be doing that. He cannot not be doing that. It's impossible. Big up Style of Beyond for the gifted membership to Come Killer on, Grooves. Says Keemstar's a drama queen for real. The reasons I want nothing to do with him. Right? Yeah, he has a just... channel called uh, Drama Alert. Do you think he's a drama queen? DSP is actually more pathetic of a drama queen because he pretends he's not about drama and he constantly stirs up drama and watches other people's drama videos and comments on them but pretends like he's a fence sitter and he's objective while he has made his mind up way before. He made his mind up about Pro Jared, made his mind up about Wings, made his mind up about Keemstar way before he watched any of those documentaries. Bye. Any mods in chat? I have no idea. Baba Duke says, I don't know. I thought Keemstar was pretty composed. Oh, no one said Keemstar wasn't composed. Of course he was. There's no way he could show up unhinged and start ranting at me on someone else's show. Then people would call him out for it, right? Thank you. Just saying, says, good job keeping your composure. I appreciate that. Can we not talk about the podcast, Green Goblin? Sadly, Green Goblin, I don't think it's really avoidable at this point, considering it's the longest thing I've done outside of my content and one of the things I've ever done outside of my content. I don't know how we would really avoid talking about that right now. I think it's going to be pretty pertinent to discuss it right now, okay? Uh, I received a $50 tip. Thank you. 
I don't know if uh, DSP Reacts is specifically a drama channel, but he, like, it, it, well, let's be honest, DSP, he gets the most attention when he talks about drama, which makes him do more drama so he can get more attention. Otherwise, he gets 200 views a video when he plays Hogwarts Legacy or One Piece Odyssey. So it naturally in his brain makes him want to do more drama because that's successful. And it's an endless cycle of drama, drama, drama. And then when he stops, everything falls off. And he just, even if he doesn't want to, he got to be the drama guy. He has to. On the podcast, respect. Thank you to Oswald for a $50 tip. That is very, or Oswald. No. I ignored, I, I clicked on, What? What? Two emails. You see how how shell shock I am here? He's so shell shocked of being exposed. And I read Oswald. It's literally like if he jerked off again, and and then he jumped on stream and he was like, "Oh, you guys, what's up? Let's let's talk about stuff." Dollar anonymous tip, and I received a one. Wait, he docked somebody. Wait, what? I ignored. I I clicked on what? I merged two emails. You see how how shell shock I am here? <laughs> I had another email. And I read Oswald from a second email over to the $50 anonymous tipper. Oops. I have another email. Sorry about that. Um, oh, so it's somebody's actual name. Whoa. So I got a $50 anonymous tip and I received a $1 tip. Hold Wait, on. we got a we got a hot clip. I'm, I got to go on Twitter because Twitter has been on fire the last few days. And now we're not watching anything live. So I got plenty of space to uh, watch whatever I want. So I want to see... Uh, I think it was Kramer that posted it. Can I find it here, perhaps? Kramer. Is that going to pop up? Of course it's not going to pop up. Fuck this. I think... Uh, what was this? Is this... Oh, this is a Gundam thing. Okay, let's see this clip. Business loans? And if... Uh, have you taken out any business loans? And if so, what were they used for? Business loans? No. Everything that I, you know, all that debt that got written off was credit cards and stuff. You know, now I'm thinking, I'm trying to think. Oh, I had a personal loans, not business loans. I've never taken out any kind of loan officially in the name of the business or anything like that. <sighs> Horseshit! The wedding, you know, I know some people, oh, Phil would start playing that wedding. No, not going to happen. And it's, we already, we're being logical adults about this. We've talked it out. We would love to get married right now. We can't. Not possible. And plus, it would be incredibly irresponsible because right now I'm in so much debt. I'm in so much debt right now. Two mortgages, credit cards, business loans. Business loans. What the fuck? <laughs> or business loans? No. <laughs> That's a hot and quick edit. Dude is a liar. That That's a great edit, Gundam. Big ups, dude. Uh, I found Kramer's account thanks to Kramer. So big ups to that. Let's watch some of those clips. The owner of the Down to the Raptors account. <laughs> the Wandering Travel uh, travel Vlog says, on a scale of 99% to 100%, how, how sure are you that DSP is the owner of the Down to the Raptors account? Also, under $1,000? Hilarious. Um... I mean, I'm a hundred percent sure. I, I think it's his, absolutely, a hundred hundred percent. There's, it's, it's, it's so weird that he was willing to, like, expose more information about himself, like all of his personal expenses that no one cared about, no one talked about, and like talk about his wife's restraining order, which he seemed very apprehensive at first to talk about before the show. He didn't want to talk about it, and then he said, "He's like, fuck it, I'll talk about this." And then, but like, you're not gonna just show your username on a on a mobile app this is my boyfriend Not even this is my boyfriend world this is the guy this is the one to craig in a craig. private email for him to oh. be like okay it's whenever phil says we what what you know what's going on yeah he's man like that 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 thing was just something else man it was something else not him everyone you know what i mean like really i, I think that yeah I don't right. know, man. It, it was fucking weird. <laughs> and I'm happy that uh, the rest of the panel wasn't there because we got all the essential people that had, like, hard-hitting questions to ask. Bitch. It, Wait. Don't be a fucking bitch. It, d fucking be the person you want to be and fucking own it. Find a platform that's going to allow you to be that person. All right? I gave you two great ideas for a show, right? This is how you don't game. 
Use it to your advantage. Own who you are, all right? Put that fucking box of tissues behind you because you did wank on screen, all right? Fucking own it. You're never going to catch me fucking pulling my dick out live because I'm not a fucking idiot, all right? You made the mistake. You were an idiot. Own it, all right? I'm sick of people. This is going like, in a song. I'm a, victim. I'm a victim. This is going to gonna be a song. Own it, the song. Yes, being a victim happens, but you're choosing to remain. And uh, his rap name is uh, Beanie Boyfriend. That's his name, Beanie Boyfriend. Remain a victim and using it to milk your subscribers, the people that support you. You know what? I, I have no respect for people who take advantage of the people who support them. I love my chat. My chat is the reason why I'm successful and I'm able to sit in my house and Facts. talk about my opinions on live all, oh. uh, online. He it's took not two that business loans under his name and one under We Think Liana's. And he was never swatted. He had a wellness check. It flowers me off. He claims to have had swatting done to him. Well, it was by definition, I guess it was a swatting because somebody called the police on him for things that he didn't do. So, yeah, I'm, I'm not going to try and like, that go against that. It's fun. I fuck. He could have been swatted. I love it. I get to play video games and people watch me and pay me. Watch video, play video games. You get to do the same. You lucky fucking asshole. How dare you fucking bitch about it? Own it. All right. I'm sick of it. Stop being a fucking victim and own your shit. <laughs> Let's watch some more clips. I, I hope the poems clips are still here uh, because there's some great ones. Uh, yeah, this is the, the one with champions. Uh, we got a, what is this, a rich uh, apology tour? My job is oddly like a drug addiction. It gives me a euphoric high when I'm performing for my audience. But when I'm high, when the high fades, I have to deal with reality again. It's fucking brutal. I'm still thankful that I have a job I love so much that I can use it as an escape. And then Phil says, I sincerely wish you and your daughter the best. People told me about what you're going through tonight, and it sounds awful. Uh, no more beef, man. Let's move on. Cool. Bill has redeemed himself now. And then we got this. This face. <laughs> Anyways, let's go back to this. Hold on. And he's quiet. Of course he's quiet. I'm Everybody not... else, I even in that call, even in that call, I had to boost my gain by like 5 dB. Very... I'm going to be a little shaky. I was on the show for so long. I had two cups of coffee this morning. Two to prepare for that, which I almost never had, and I was like, oh my god. Should have had a cup of gin. So Oswald, no. Anonymous Dipper. Did I click the animation? Anonymous Dipper, thank you for a $50 tip. I can't even do stuff normally. I'm so like all over the place today. $50 tip from an anonymous tipper. Then I got a one dollar tip from Oswald, who said, Good job on the show, man. Holy moly. Okay, thank you guys. Wow. Holy moly. <clears throat> Stream, by the way. So, uh, so America Manga Undertaker re-upped his membership for six months, and he says, as a fan, it's worth it to watch. Is it worth it to watch the interview? I mean, I don't know. Will you guys tell me? You guys think <laughs> it was worth it for someone who didn't watch the interview to watch it? Um, if you're a fan, no. If you're a fan, do not. Because then you see your your boy, Phil, the guy you're a fan of, get roasted and get called the fuck out. So if you're a fan, you probably shouldn't if you want to still be a fan. I have a good time, but I do feel like I... If you actually believe Phil, don't. But if you want to see the, the whole uh, full transparent truth, as he calls it, then you probably should. But then again, you heard it on a daily basis, dude. Come on. Very intelligently conducted myself on that show. Very intelligently. Except being called out for contradicting yourself. Contradicting yourself is not very intelligent. Um, K Styles re-upped his membership for 22 months at the ultra supporter level. Thank you, K Styles. And then Crasco did a super chat. And then every once in a while they would call him out and he would be like, Yeah, I know, I'm stupid. I, I, I'm a fallible human. I still learn. It's a process. How long though? How long is this process? You're like 41 in a month a month from now. How long are we going to be improving? And I know people live and they learn and they improve their whole life. But like on these basic levels, how long? You did well, Phil. Thank you, Crasco. Appreciate that. Uh, Age Siki. 
Yeah, the super chat says, I enjoyed your interview. Can't wait for part two. Thank you. Big ups, uh, lazy, lazy vigilante for the subscribership. So, Mint says, do you feel it was a fair interview? It felt like an ambush. How was that an ambush? How was that an ambush? That, that, that was unexpected. Was Keem showing up? All right. I don't think that the Keem part was like, like if Keem had come on the show and was like, screw you, you're a liar, blah, blah, blah. It wasn't. It wasn't about that. It was about our interaction, which I don't even understand because no one really cares. Like seriously, no one cares but my detractors about our interaction. I don't care about our interaction we had last year, but you know, it is what it is. Again, he has to make it all about himself. I don't want to talk about him all day, so. SD Charger says they should have prepared more, had a timeline and asking questions in a certain order. I mean, maybe they did. You don't know. Maybe I don't know what they were following there. By the way, today, if you're an American-style viewer, if you're European, you're probably not going to make it un unless you're, like, actually staying up late. There's going to be the first episode of The Flare Up, which is ALT's new show. I mean, Rambo Bambo McGee, who is definitely not ALT, and he's much younger. Uh, and he's going to be playing exclusive songs you've never heard before, so tune in. Make sure to, to smash that reminder button. Okay? Sounds good. It's for old people only. If you're like Gen Z, you're going to hate it. So make sure to go there and troll in chat because you're going to hate it. Right? Right? Showtime did a super chat. Felt like it was a setup, though. How do you feel it was a setup? I don't feel that at all. I don't feel that at all. <laughs> he turns into Elmo. <laughs> I don't feel like it was a setup at all. How do you feel it was a setup exactly? Right? <laughs> It wasn't a setup at all, Phil. <laughs> I'm a little. I'm a he little turns little. into Mickey Mouse. This is the Mickey Mouse voice. That you think it was a setup? <laughs> it wasn't a setup. Why were they upset with how <laughs> I spent my money? First of all, they weren't upset. This is the detractors' questions. Oh me. yeah. But again, the insinuation is that if I'm making money and I'm irresponsibly blowing it on stuff, right? Then you know there's going to be criticism there. Yes. These, these people have come, come, made this giant semi-fabricated situation around it correct and correct i really feel like <laughs> you know that you know people want answers and i tried to answer as best i could you know what i mean pf says don't send the screenshot it feels like a setup yeah. wait did he say it's semi-fabricated <laughs> wait i need this i need this hold on it went over my head Thanks, chat. Semi-fabricated situation. The semi-fabricated situation. It's like wrestling. It's kind of fake, but it's not like all the way fake because sometimes they get hurt. Found it, correct? It's and it's fake, fake. I it's really half fake. Like, you know <laughs> that you know people want answers, and I tried to answer as best I could. You know what I mean? PF says, "Don't send the screenshot. It feels like a setup." Yeah. It's a setup. You're gonna get exposed. I have, I have to have future talk. We're gonna have. I'm gonna have future talks with him. He's gonna talk to his wife. Um, hey, honey, do you think I should send him a screenshot of my uh, mobile games account? Like, let's just take a step back for a, a, a little bit of a second, more like a minute. Think about this. This is a 40-year-old let's player on the internet who has to send somebody a screenshot of his mobile game account. To prove that, in fact, he didn't spend actually over $100,000 on it. Because somebody on the internet bothered to actually calculate how much money that would cost. Okay? Did we take a step back? Okay, let's let's dive right back in. You know, I received... It is pretty ridiculous, isn't it? Shouting out contributions. Thank you, Cooper. And then the trolls are crazy. The trolls are the crazy ones. Not this dude that has to send people a screenshot of a mobile game account. <laughs> Don't send the screenshot. Oh, I just read that. No, I didn't. He's a hero. About the huge discount. Hell. No, Cooper. What are you talking about? They're trolling. This kind of bed bath and beyond. Um, Mishael did a ten dollar tip. He says, "Good job on the interview. Thank you, Mishael. I appreciate that." Good job, yeah. He didn't watch it. He just thought it was a good job because Phil told you it was a good job. He didn't. He didn't bother watching it. I just trusting Phil. <laughs> to them, that was like a long grilling session. To me, that was like normal. <laughs> How was it normal? When do you have people actually confront you and talk back to you and question the things you're saying? Never. How was it normal? I didn't. I. I didn't even feel like I was in the hot seat. Really? Day on my own stream. How? So snow Carl When you tell those people to relax or they're going to get banned, how is it normal? Carl tipped a dollar. 
I want to say you did as well as anyone could have on that podcast. I'm proud. Must have been hard. It was difficult. Your first live confrontation in a long time. I'm sorry that, that you know, people had to be brought into it like Kat. And I'm looking forward to part two. Thank you. He, he brought her in, though. I did reveal some stuff, man. Yeah, you, you did it. Nobody asked for your wife. Like, actually, they didn't. I, I don't think they asked once about Kat. Because that was, like, off limits. Because, you know, he's protecting his family and stuff. No, Kat has a restraining order against Subaru Man. Because he beat her ass. That's what he fucking says. And they have legal things they're they're dealing with behind the scenes, and they have health problems. I did reveal some stuff that no one knew. Why? And, uh, to make know, yourself look good. I'm going to say about that. You know, I'm not going to be talking about all that crap. But you know, that's it's sad. The people that people have said and done, it's pretty messed up. Uh, Big Papa Phil did a $10 tip. I commend you for doing the interview. I think you're great. You stood up in the face of all the detractor BS. You delivered your defense strongly. I've been a fan How? for years. I want the best for you. Oh, what? Uh, so... <laughs> I love these enablers, dude. I love them. Please keep gaslighting him. Please keep telling him what he wants to hear. Please. We're going to get so much content out of this. It's going to be so fun. I promise. Please. If you can do it without sending him money, that's better. A chance to do the podcast. Because then we're going to get more begging segments. Podcast sponsors. Do it. It would help your family a ton. You'll rise above. Oh, this gaslighting is so good, man. I'd love to do that podcast. Hey, Phil, you did amazing. You destroyed those guys. They asked you question after question, and you just swatted it all down. You destroyed it with facts and logic. Without Keen. As I said, live on the show. I, I'm okay with doing it. I'm okay with Boogie. I'm okay with Wings. I'm not okay with Keem. So that would be the person that I really want nothing to do with. I don't know if it's worth it at all. It might hurt myself more than it could ever help. Seriously. I don't want to be Mr. Lolcow for the rest of my life. <laughs> Mr. Lolcow. This is another song, you guys. Mr. Lolcow. <laughs> um, it's like Mr. Brideside, but Mr. Lolcow. I got a $4.20 tip. I don't want to be Mr. Lolcow. He used to be Mr. Views. Now he's not Mr. Views. He's Mr. Lolcow. <laughs> Radical Josh, Help! Let's get high, bud, with a, a great animation. Craig seems like a good guy. I hope you have an actual fun podcast. I think eventually... Oh, uh, that was actually fun. A long-ass time, right? I think it will. I think it'll take a long, long, long-ass time. Uh, for the record, I have absolutely no idea what happened with my internet. It went down legit. It went down completely legitimately. I was like, what? And I don't know if someone DDoSed me or not. I have absolutely no clue. At all. What happened there? My, You guys know my internet almost never goes down. If it does, it's like a blip. My Basically, my modem reset itself. So I don't know if that was a DDoS or not. How is it that it happened then, but then it didn't happen? You would think if someone DDoSed me, it would have happened again and again and again, right? It just happened once and stopped. So I'm like, it was weird. I really hope it wasn't a DDoS. You're not. DDoS, no, they didn't DDoS trouble, you. No. Trouble. No. Oh, they didn't right. DDoS it's you. Fixed. They did not. No. <clears throat> See, Butler Spirit, here's the difference. Is why only take negatives away from the Keem vid. What you've how, would, how would they get his IP from somebody else's call? Unless they, I don't know. They're like, we're, we're getting way into a lot of conspiracies here that don't make any sense. So we, there's no point into getting into them. He didn't get DDoS. He lost connection. Herb. And also, Craig lost connection at some point, too. So I think he left at some point. But it was it was the longest fuck, man. It was so, so long. Big up uh, Aldrich for the sub, dude. I feel it's unfair. I've seen Drama Alert. It's trash. It's trash game. It's a trash content. It's, it's a trash game. My opinion. You can disagree. You can disagree. One million percent. I <laughs> don't like his content. I have issue with it. You understand? It wasn't the documentary that made him like, dislike. I already disliked him. Then I watched the documentary. Do you understand? <laughs> So you were biased, basically, right? He was biased, and then he watched the documentary claiming he wasn't biased. And he was going into this, like, objectively. And then he admits to being biased the whole time. Say, re up his membership. You handled yourself well, Matt. Respect. Thank you. Thrown NS I don't know, like, what kind of roasting, not even roasting, but calling out of DSP would make him admit to something that, that is actually, like, genuine. And not from like 10 years ago that he said fucking Chicky Chang Wang or something. I don't know what has to happen. Because if, if it wasn't that thing where people who actually tried to help him tried to help him and give him actual advice, nothing is going to do it. So he's Mr. Lolcow for life. 
So there's going to be a lot more hot content coming up. But I don't think he's having any more interviews anytime soon. Because this was a... This was... Like, from his point of view, yeah, he wants to delude himself into making it seem like it's awesome, but it, it was a disaster, completely. Super Jack, you look like a complete clown. Two dollars for Vince. There you go. I have no idea what that means, but enjoy your Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. Somebody got banned. Naysay, re-up this membership. You handle yourself well, Matt. Respect. Thank you. Throwing Ennis to the Super Jack, you look like a complete clown. Two dollars for Vince. There you go. I have no idea what that means, but enjoy your ban. There you go. You looked like a complete clown. That's all you have to know. Uh, Amrit did a super chat. Props for hanging in there for five hours under fire. Not a detractor or a fan, just neutral. Credit where it is due, Phil. Thank you to Amrit for a super chat. That's very nice of you. Well, they are detractors now by, by all parameters. They buy into the stupid conspiracies that are not true, right? Well, they are detractors. I'm sorry. They might even be some of the worst ones. At the end of the day, this is not going to change anything, I don't feel. Maybe it will. I don't think so. But uh, I'm happy that... I love the Gundam clown. Uh, the, the Gundam clown. Uh, the Gundam call as well. Because it was so fucking funny. Because he just jumped in and he roasted his ass and he was out. It was just like a, a, a message. So that, that was great. I'm happy they played it. Did it. I actually am happy that I did it. Big old beans, I think you and Wings Boogie could be a great... Hope you guys work together. I we, I want to no, work no. do a podcast with them. No. 100%. Just, it's not happening. No, somebody wants to actually... Somebody has to manage the whole thing. Adam annoying and biased. I did not find him annoying and biased at all. Good. Ugh. Good. You, you do today, though. Today, when he talked about them, they were biased. Because they got a lot of views and a lot of money yesterday. That's what he said. Like, an hour ago. Oh, they're talking about me now? Ooh, they're... Fucking, uh, why do you think they wouldn't talk about me? They got so many views yesterday. Barbara Keemstar kept saying you were going to watch Lal Kal boxing match was being... Why would I watch that? I, you guys know I don't watch any of that shit. I, you he's going to react to it in five years from now. He's going to be reacting to it. Maybe even a year. I don't know anything about it. Oh, you're going to watch it. Keem, again, he's such a giant inflated ego in his own head. And by the way, now I'll say, oh, he's talking about me. Yeah, Keem, he essentially evaded... My episode of Side Scrollers, my interview. Now I'm going to talk about you. You're going to deal with it. All right? He has such a giant inflated. Wait, what? 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 Keem evaded the episode? He was. He's talking about. Hold on. Him. Yeah, Keem. He essentially evaded my episode of Side Scrollers. My... He invaded. That's what he meant. Not evaded. Okay, so he invaded it. My episode. It was my episode. He cucked me. So he admits being cucked by Keemstar. That's fantastic. He invaded my episode. It was like in Dark Souls, yeah. You get the red dude invade and then they beat your ass. And it's like, dude, I was just fucking trying to play a video game. My interview. Now I'm going to talk My interview. But you're, he was involved in it. Like, would you think it's not a good idea for a person who is involved in the thing you're talking about to have their own say on the matter? What? All right. He has such a giant inflated egotistic head that he's like, you're going to watch my content. I never watched your content, dude. I don't watch your content. I, even the clips I can't stand. I want to vomit. I can't watch that shit. Sorry that I have morals in a different moral compass than you. Sorry I have morals. Sorry I'm better than you. Oh, you're going to watch it. No, I'm not. I haven't watched it. Kim, I'm sorry I'm better than you. In my mind, like he said to Rich, in my mind, I'm better than you. Any celebrity boxing. Not one piece of any of it. Did I prefer Benadryl and Gas X? No, I did not. I woke up early. I had two cups of coffee. If you didn't notice, I was constantly drinking. And by the way, there was a mute button, okay? In that way that they stream, there's a mute button right on the screen. You might have noticed I went eh, a few times. There's a mute button in OBS. I clicked the mute. You just button. have to set it up. It takes 30 seconds. Mute button and then come back because it was right there. And the cool thing is the mute button can be literally any button on your keyboard. So you got limitless possibilities. Or it can be a, a combination of buttons. So yes, that's not an excuse or a flex. Yeah. There's a mute button, dude. On the platform, they were doing this. Yes, I would. If he wanted to come up. Of course he would. He's the king of pity. King of pity versus the king of uh, question mark. Not sure. I don't think so. I don't know why you guys feel that way. You guys are being way more horse to them than, than I think. You have to understand something. They are 100% outsiders to me. They don't know me. Craig knows me in a casual way for many, many years. 
The other guys didn't oh, know me at all. Just a right? reminder, so, DSP's morals leads him to wonder the issues with trying to monetize the death of a supposed friend. There you go. That's very true. Uh, Anatard, Lord of Derps. That is true. That's his moral. The, his moral compass. He thinks it's morally correct to put the burden of his livelihood in the hands of his fans and not take money from the guy. Right? Not take money from any co company. Are we going to take money from Jade? They're coming from the outside. All they've heard is the negative stuff. Now they, it's my opportunity to counter the negative stuff, right? So I didn't take it in any negative way, man. I thought it was fine. Oh, it was great. Yeah, it was awesome. And in the post show, that got posted on Kiwi Farms. I, I managed to find the link for that. In the post show, it's kind of, it's it's not much. And he probably shouldn't have been on that because they were making hints for him to kind of go away. But he didn't. Because he wanted to actually have a part that's not about roasting him. Uh, the post show is him talking about Keemstar and why he doesn't like him. When Craig asked him, dude, that's like a lot of money, man. And you turned this down? And he was like, yeah, yeah, I talked to my wife. I don't, I really don't like Keemstar, man. I don't want to be dealing with him. And then he put on the, the hat. He put on the pilot hat for the Side Scrollers podcast. And then Travis and that lady showed up. And then he was just basically acting nice to them. And that's basically it. That was literally all. It was, it's not much. It was like 15 minutes. Uh, maybe I can find the, I think maybe there's like something on, on Twitter about it. Uh, I'm not sure if somebody posted it. They probably did. Probably did. Uh, wait, this is my feed. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Anyways, let's, let's let him talk. Big Papa Phil says there's snakes everywhere in business and jobs doesn't mean you don't work with them when you must to benefit yourself and your family. Again, though, here's what you have to understand is if I went on that podcast, right? Number one, you saw how Keemstar acts. He would literally try to be like, well, this podcast is the most important part of your life. So you got to bend over backwards for me for the rest of your life. Everything you do, you have to listen to me because I've got you on this podcast. I feel like he would hang that over my head forever, number one. And he'd be so controlling. And number two, just... Again, if you're on a lol cow cast, you're talking about a show that already the title is a negative association. It's an insult. But bro, you that's that's what you are. I'm sorry that you're still in denial about it. That's that's what it is. You're calling me a lol cow. Yes, you are. Why am I gonna do that? Right? Have it to be a serious show. Not you know, oh everyone's gonna just sit here to make fun of us all day every day. It's ridiculous. I received a twenty dollar tip. From opposite George, I only caught the last 25 minutes. I want to ask, are you and Star cordial now? Do you think you were fairly interviewed? <laughs> I thought interviews were Are you cordial? He came the fuck out of the guy. He invaded his interview. Is that who that was? Was that opposite George? I only caught the last 25 minutes. I want to ask, are you and Star cordial now? Do you think you were fairly interviewed? I thought interviews were pushing a little bit with the Yucko the Clown. Is that who that was? Yucko the Clown? Was that Yucko the Clown? What? Is that from a Howard Stern show? Is that who It's a Gundam is? No way, is that him? Or is that a joke? How are you that fucking stupid, really dude? Him? I want it. I want answers. Because he sounds like Yucko the Clown. You hit it on the head. Maybe he just tries to sound like that. Right? Uh... I don't know. No one's answering. No one's answering if, he, if it actually is uh, Yucko the Clown or not. Is a fucking world Adam freezer. Oh, really? <laughs> Not the size clown. Of just... Oh, fuck you. I'm living. Welcome to Nashville, Tennessee. Hey, welcome to fucking dumbassville. Hey, what? Is this supposed? Is this supposed to be who f Gundam pretends to be or something? Can't afford braces? What's going on there? Nah, I don't need them for what I need them for. I got no, well, cause you look like a fucking jack o' lantern. That's why. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it sounds nothing like him. Duck, pig. I mean, I got like... I love these reaction channels, by the way. I'm literally just like watching the video here in the corner. This dude is just like, it's great. So you guys uh, do that s and bot? <laughs> this is great. It sounds like him. <laughs> Shout out to Jinx. What a, what a voice to have. Holy moly. Oh yeah, we're gonna roast his voice. And he roasts your bankruptcy, so I don't know who got the upper hand on this one, Phil. I don't know, man. Your voice? It sounds like a clown. But yeah, Phil, you're half a mil in debt. 
Uh, well, your voice is stupid. You have the membership for 10 months. Wings and Phil interview soon. Uh, all right. It's uh, it's hat time, guys. I'm it's sorry, hat time. Like to talk with you. I'm just going to throw on a hat. Let's just throw on a hat. Information. <laughs> we got the, the Los Santos, the crying hat. <laughs> uh, countered all of those claims. I already said that. I've already done that. You're not countered you anything, any Phil. New definitive. The inputs didn't come out. You didn't counter anything information in that you found you found out a few new personal things about me and my wife that you revealed without anybody asking like why would you do that you're the protecting his family guy protecting my family and then he goes out of his way to reveal stuff about his family that are that are personal things that i've never disclosed before that are issues ongoing issues like what right like health issues to elaborate further on them i don't want to tell you about our problems behind the scenes that have nothing whatsoever to do with our content why did you bring it up then no one's business um, but basically I, I didn't have, that wasn't the intention of going on the show. Now people say, well, did he answer the questions? Yes, he did. Go watch the show. Do you believe him? That's your call. Believe him or not, right? Believe him or not. If you don't believe him, that's fine. Hate him. Don't watch his content or do whatever you want to do. You Bro, know? you're telling people who are super biased to go watch this thing. You know that they're still going to. Yeah, never mind. But never mind, dude. It's there now, right? At least now there's a definitive answer. There's a definitive answer that has absolutely no proof in it. It's just trust me. Trust me, bro. And then somebody else says, well, Phil, this doesn't make sense. Phil, make this make sense. Phil, this sounds very hypocritical coming from you. That's what that's what a definitive answer is. When, when you say something, then people call you out and tell you they don't trust you. That's what definitive means. And then Keemstar invades your call and steals your spotlight and cucks you. Correct? Correct? I represent Grove Street. Represent well, Grove Street. Super Chat with the recent podcast. Is there going to be a part two? Well, with a part two. We consider talking about Tech USA. No. Absolutely not. American Maga Undertaker did a Super Chat. Keemstar was there. How was it? Uh, basically, Keem came on to argue with me about last year him offering me 50K to be on a podcast, which never happened. It never happened. Talked to me. He never talked to me because you dodged his calls. Like, okay, I know we've talked about this before and they talked about it on a podcast. You're streaming, right? You're not like actually putting in hard labor in a job that you're essential to. So you can't leave for five minutes. You can't take a smoke break. He can get up at any time and say, you guys, this is important. I got to take this call and go out there, take the call, come back, continue like nothing happened. That's it. That's it, man. It's so simple. But he's businessman. He is uh, Mr. Lolcow. So we can't do that. Oh, this was the offer. There was no offer. You there was no offer. offer. You never contacted And now semantics. You even listen to simple instructions. <laughs> yeah, you said this, and then they, they had a bunch of stuff to say in that response. So obviously what you're saying is not correct because they don't agree with it. You can still keep going with that story, but they called it out for being incorrect. Dragon, uh, Dragon Davy Ray did a super chat. Great job, kept your cool, mad respect. Thank you, Dragon Davy Ray. Appreciate that. And also, the thing is, he could have called Keemstar when he got freed up, right? If he actually wanted to talk, that's how it works. When you get a missed call from somebody, and then you you call them after the fact, and it's like, hey, dude, I'm I'm sorry, I was busy, I couldn't like pick up the phone. Uh, you want to talk about stuff now? Are you free? Can can we do this now? Could have done this. This is what humans do, right? Human beings. Not Mr. Lolcow, but Mr. Regular. That's what Mr. Regular does. If you guys want to ask me a question and you're not contributing, please tag me in the chat. You don't have to contribute, but I do need to see your message. I received another tip. You guys are being awesome and don't have to be, but thank you so much. <laughs> you guys don't have to be awesome, but you are. Of the day. So thank you so much for supporting me here. Um... $20 tip from One Minute Man. Good job keeping your cool during a five-hour interrogation. One Minute Man, in a rare move, has spoken. He never speaks. I think the last time he spoke was Christmas. He said, Merry Christmas. Thank you so much, One Minute Man. I appreciate your always <laughs> staunch support of my content. It was very nice of you. Interrogation, dude. It was, it was such about. a hot comment by One Minute Man. I appreciate it so much. It's so good. You kept your cool. All these comments telling him that he kept his cool. The dude was like, he was red in the face. He was like siege mode. It was, uh, he was nodding like this, like crazy. He was honestly like tough time. Very tough. It, it's been tough.
But I love the enabling. I love the enabling. Because like I said earlier, all the progress that could have happened has been completely undone. Because DSP went back to his comfort zone, he got a bunch of validation from the internet, he got a bunch of money as well. So any progress, any advice that he could have taken is gone. It's gone. Any questions I wish Craig and Adam asked? Uh, there's so many. Because, you know, th somebody could have sent him a dollar and said, Hey, Phil, you know, these guys are right. Actually, this lifestyle is not healthy. You should actually, like, try and work out a little bit more. You should try get some movement. Take care of yourself. They were right about that. But no, they said, oh, Phil, you did a great job. I love you, Phil. This is great, Phil. Phil, you, you're so amazing. You destroyed all the trolls, Phil. There's so many questions to be asked. How many right? times do you know. think he tried to ban Adam purely out of remix <laughs> when he was pressing Phil? <laughs> yeah, he wished he could lean on to him. He wished uh, he could have said, Adam, relax. Please relax, Adam. You're doing it again, Adam. <laughs> you're supposed to, Adam, how this is supposed to go is... You say, uh, I say something, and then you nod, and then you said, yeah, that, that sounds good, Phil. Your trolls are a bunch of fucking obsessed idiots, and they're very stupid. And then uh, Phil says, correct, right? I've been telling people for years. That's how this is supposed to go. He thought it was like wrestling. Oh. You pretend like you're having an interview, but it's actually fake. Where's the ban button? Well, he, he could find the mute button. So he, he couldn't find the, the ban button. Imagine if he had the ability to mute other people. And it was like Adam about to call him out. And then Adam just gets muted instantly. It's like, oh, what happened? Like, Adam got muted. Phil, did you did you do that? Because <laughs> you can mute people in, in some chat rooms like that. Like Zoom calls and stuff. That weird, like, baby sip that he does. With, like, the, the full lips on the bottle. It's, like, it's weirdly, like, childish. I don't know. It's maybe like it's a DSP thing where you just notice it regardless of whether you want it or not. <laughs> this thing he does with like the baby sip. Oh, delicious. <laughs> uh, and it does look like a baby bottle. Yeah, that definitely doesn't help looking like a baby bottle. He needs some milk. George, no, I mean, I'm, are Keemstar and I cordial? You're I not. Have no relation to Keemstar, and I have no desire to really talk to him. <laughs> is that cordial? Do you really think Keem is going to contact me? Here's the real question, all right? He said on the show, oh, no, the offer's not off the table, but the offer's off the table. Like, he literally said that. He said, oh, no, you know, the door's not closed, but the door's closed. He said both. How did he say that, though? When you say both. Did he really say that? I don't think he said that. Because Craig asked Phil multiple times, hey, Phil, now we have... We have Keemstar on. He's asking you, like, are you are you sure you don't want to take the money? It's a lot of money, dude. Like that. It's like. <laughs> but yeah, he he definitely said DSP is too hard to work with. He's not like willing to to put in the effort to work with DSP. It's really not worth it. Honestly, it's not worth it. Having to work with this guy, it's not worth it. Talking out of both sides of his mouth. Again, I don't want to talk about Keem all day. I really don't. Um, we got a hundred likes. Hey, we got a hundred likes. What a celebration. Bubble blow. Smash that like Very button. Nice. Here we go. A million times. Excuse me. This stream's like goal is a million likes. Here you go. Thank you guys for the support. On this stream we got actually yeah that's true martin it's a billion likes All right, so I'll be let's be ambitious with this one one billion likes and i'm gonna blow bubbles till 4 p.m just like always um and then i'm eating my dinner with my wife and then i'll come back tonight eat my dinner with my wife does he eat dinner at 4 p.m i guess that is kind of healthy uh because some people do it but do you most people aren't even off of work until like five and then they get home around like 5 30 6 maybe 7 by the time they have dinner it's like 7 never mind you will like a dragon Asian stream tonight like a dragon Asian? chill stream tonight i'm down chill stream he made it like 20 bucks on the by chill the way, stream it was super chill 700 people on the stream right now i'm so dumb i didn't say this welcome to anyone who's a newcomer <laughs> i very well may have some spillover right now spillover if you guys were watching the side scrollers podcast maybe you're even a patron of side scrollers welcome sorry i didn't say anything i'm being stupid cuz i'm kind of shell shocked after the show um 
this is a 24 hour sub only mode chat. There's a very good reason for it. It's because if you're not, if I didn't do that, this entire chat right now would be troll. Okay. But you would get more engagement and you would get more attention. And that's what matters, right? Because the algorithm doesn't care if you're getting trolled or not. It, it really doesn't. It sees it as a positive. So it's, it's better getting trolled than nothing at all. So I have to be careful about that. Um, and I have to basically shut, shut down that stuff. You know what I'm saying? So if you are, if you liked that show and you'd like to join in the chat, you have to subscribe for 24 hours. So please sub to the channel. If you don't like the content in the next 24 hours, unsub. You don't have to stay sub, but you do have to sub if you want to chat. Okay, it's a 24-hour wait. Tomorrow, all my content will be regular. Gameplay and everything will be usual, normal stuff. Okay? Um, so, Purple Pickle to the Super Chat. $10 one. Thank you. I gotta give credit where it's due. You showed up to the show. Like, Lana Rhodes. Uh, wait, Lana Rhodes, bro. <laughs> wait, are we giving credit to people for showing up to things they're supposed to show up for? Is somebody gonna send me a Super Chat telling me good job for showing up at work today? Because I went to work? Good job. Uh, credit where it's due, Meerkat. You went to work when you were supposed to. All right, this is some kind of a sexual joke. That and know. now this is a sexual joke. We, we can't have those. He has a wife. What it means. It was a great watch. I'd love to see more mad respect from the pickle. I don't even know who that Lana Rhodes is, but I'm not even going to read the rest of that. But thank you, Purple Pickle. <laughs> yeah. Oh, my God. Yikes. <clears throat> Holy crap. All right. Mr. Oinks says, ultimately, it's your choice. I don't like the way they conducted themselves. Can we run a poll for which game? For tonight? No, tonight it would be like a Dragon Ishin if we do a game. If not, we could just do another chill stream, whatever you guys want. Let's do another game. chill stream. Wait. Oh, yeah. Th did he say, like, Lana Rhodes, you took three dudes on at once? Is that what he said? <laughs> that would have been a really good joke, man. That's a hot joke. Because he really did. They ran a train on him. And they were like, they tried to be objective. They tried. They gave him the benefit of the doubt. But there's only... So much benefit of the doubt you can give to Dark Side Phil. That's why he got so many trolls. And it's it's not for no reason. And that's why they're so fucking crazy. It's not for no reason. There's only so much credit you can give the guy. And now we're giving him credit for showing up to things he was scheduled to show up for. Think of the 15 50k when I give Wow, him. Phil. That's like when when 672 was talking to Wings and he was like yeah, Wings, I think DSP is a great content creator because he has great work ethic. He shows up to stream when he has to, and he plays video games all day, and then he stops playing video games when he has to stop playing video games. And I think that's a great content creator. He shows up to the only thing he has to show up for that makes him money. Again, there was no 50k. Team never there was had. no 50k. Good job, BF. Man. Heart. Kiss mark. Man. Hey, thank you, thank you, thank you, and big ups to uh, Infidel Castro for three months. Uh, what the fuck is this thing I'm I'm typing into? This is your membership special message that you get as a perk of being a member, and now you wasted it into being confused. So congrats, Castro, congrats. You, you messed up, dude. How dare you? The process of contacting me and offering it to me. He tweeted on his own account. We had a conversation in DMs where he didn't tell me what the... What blah, he blah, blah. Now we get a, a rethread of this whole story. Then he refused to call me when he was supposed to. But this is somehow my fault. I was supposed to drop everything in my life for this guy because he's a, a controlling egomaniac, which I said... He's a the... controlling egomaniac. Oh, uh, this is not anything I did... He's a controlling egomaniac, says the dude who can't step out of a stream that is not like... You're not streaming in front of 15,000 people. And even if you were, you could still step out. To talk on the phone for five minutes. Bruh, that's controlling egomaniac. You have to call me at the right time. You can already say. Because I'm LARPing as an old dude who has an actual job. So you gotta call me at the, the times I wanna. I'm not being controlling. That's just my work times. Oh, let's see here. Well, I think about some of the input I got today. I will. You know, some of the input I'm already implementing. It's funny because they say, oh, but you said you changed. Well, I mean, I think I have. I'm listening to your input. We're doing stuff we've never done before. I'm trying to change for the better. I'm trying not to bring up drama. That was the whole purpose of going on the show is that's where I was going to address it, right? Get it out of the way, right? So, you know, hopefully, this will kind of be the end of it. I don't know. It's not going to be the end of it, by the way. I received a $20. <laughs> it's not going to be the end of it. <laughs> Wait, dude. We're calling him out on this one. Uh, we're getting knitter.net. They call me DSP. Hold on. Hold on, Philip. Hold on, Philip. You pathetic piece of shit. What did he say on Twitter? This is what he said on Twitter, right? This is what he said on Twitter. 
I have thought about this all day and now I'm excited to be on the podcast in the morning. This will be the end of all the nonsense from my perspective and I'm ready to move on. I'll get it all out there and then never bother addressing any further drama again. Never addressing any of it ever again, okay? Get it out of the way, right? So, you know, hopefully, this will kind of be the end of it, I don't know. It's not gonna be the end of it, by the way. Our it's not gonna be the end of it, by the way. <laughs> We're doing false advertisement. Fra was good here. Okay, let's see. See here. Okay. All right. So here we go. They said I don't have to read this, but I can if I want. So I'll read it. Twenty dollar tip came in. Listen to this. And let me play the animation when I read it. Okay. You don't have to read this on stream if it's too much. It's not. You were incredibly too polite. It's it's fair when you're being a guest, but that was not an impartial interview. It was an interrogation. You say that they were outsiders, but outsiders in a situation like this should not have been preconceived notions about you or your content. Craig's a nice guy, but he believed anyone should be able to spend money on whatever they want once received. So I proceeded to grill you about your WWE account, pressing for screenshots like it would solve something. Adam was worse. He actually stated blatantly he does not believe you when you got disconnected. Don't even get me started on Keemstar. I know you're a fan of these guys, but don't let that stop you from defending yourself. Stand on principle, not the next of others. Appreciate you feeling good luck. Wait, 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 wait. This was bait. I mean, of course this was bait, but... Ah, bro, where do we even begin? So, preconceived notions means somebody does research on you, right? And then they made up their mind about something. So, then they have an opinion of you, of course. And they can ask you questions objectively, and you can have the ability to answer. And then they can disagree. And they cannot trust you. You're not entitled to people fucking trusting you when you answer a question. And you provide no proof. Man, ah. There you go. And this is so stupid, and I feel so stupid for having to point this out. Because it's like basic, like, human being 101 stuff. Interesting. It's interesting. Oh, right? Wait, this music is a little bit too loud, I think. Interesting. What is interesting? I, I, again, even if they don't believe me, I still feel it was fair. I can't make you believe. You know what I'm saying? Like, I can't make you believe me. How could I do that? It's weird because they say the pignosis. The what? The pignosis. Yo, we have the second ever entry as pignosis on Pig Pig Go. The first one, you know that. I made a song about it. Uh, this is the second one. The pignosis. Am I a warlock, an evil warlock? Here I come through the power of the internet. Oh, hold on. Excuse me. Excuse me. We got to make it even, even more goofy. Through the power of the internet, I'm using my magical powers now to control your mind and tell you to believe me. Everything I say is true and everything else is false that people say. I can't no, Phil. It's actually much simpler. You're delusional. You're narcissistic. And you're lame as fuck, man. And you're trash. And you're manipulative. I can't do that. You know, who do these people think I am? They think oh. I'm some kind of a... The pignosis will... Yeah, the pig gnosis. Let's go on pig pig go see the origins. The pig gnosis. Pig gnosis. There we go. We have one entry ever on the 2nd of November 2022. The pig gnosis. Actually say things like Phil, Phil has the pig gnosis. <laughs> he mind and brainwashes his Look at how fucking disgusting he looks in this one. Man, I'm so glad he got better lighting. Is this like, holy shit, he looks like a ghoul. Viewers into contributing. What the fuck are you talking about? Are you out of your mind? You know how crazy you sound? Do you also wear the tinfoil hat, you know, and turn on all your radio? And he believes people actually think he has like superpowers something. He takes it literally as like Phil has a superpower. People are going on the internet telling me I'm an X-Man. Oh wait, somebody got leaned. What was that? What was that? I need to vibe check my own stream again. Somebody got leaned. that? Leaned in his own chat. Uh, Craig said he got a body language expert. Wait. Oh, we're getting deep into scientific territory now. And this guy leaned in faster than you can say pignosis. Oh. Look at this. It got destroyed. Shows when you try to light a non-dent head doesn't work, they'll see through you lie. This absolutely what it was. If you try and do your, your old uh, lame tricks on people who not going to fall for them. 
And this is what happens. It was loud so that people can't hear you when you say you're, you know what I mean? Like, what are you talking about? What are you talking about, dude? You're stupid. Crazy, you know, powerful person, you know? It's, it's just nuts. Um, no, nobody thinks you're powerful, Phil. Nobody thinks you're powerful. Only power he got is there on the DSP gaming channel and on the DSP reacts channel. And even there, he doesn't have a lot of power because the, the members determine what he's going to watch. It's just nuts. I don't know. Uh, the pignosis thing. And then, you know. The pignosis thing. I didn't want to end up. <laughs> Let me. Picking the ear. Let me put it this way. The two best outcomes is that either those guys either believe me. Wait, did he have the same shirt? Because you say it's the pignosis shirt. Dude, it's the same shirt. Phil has the pignosis. It's the same shirt. Wow. That's awesome, man. Uh, big ups to D in chat for pointing this out. It's the same shirt. <laughs> it's the Pignosis shirt. Let's coin this. Or they just don't care. They right? just don't it's care. We don't care. So it's one or the other. And they don't have to like me. We're not friends. <laughs> you know, we're, we're not, not friends. Personal friends. I'm sure, you know. <laughs> would I like to show up on their podcast again? Yes, I will. I will do it again. But at the same time, you know. Darzyak says, I felt Craig and Adam didn't really get that the negative stuff is minor from your overall amount of content that you make. Exactly. Here's the thing. They say, there's a mountain of evidence. Yes, but I'm a 15-year-long, one of the most prolific content creators out there. It's funny because it's like, well, look, we just pulled this recent clip from July of last year. Yeah, and in my opinion, it's, it's a joke that's bad, but it's not a joke that's racist. I don't think the joke was, was racist because I didn't intend it in that way. But, of course, you could spin it that way if you would like. Sure. Um... And the situation is that, you know, wow, we found one thing in the last few years to say Phil does. Now we'll, now we'll do a clip from three more years before. Now the clip from 2010, you know? Yeah, bro, they could have kept going. You want this to be the clips channel? You want them to just sit there and play you clips and you having to explain them for 20 minutes and have to go back to like, oh, I'm not the same guy I was five minutes ago, dude. That's not what it was. They just wanted to show you a fucking example that you haven't changed. You're still the same fucking asshole. This isn't it. I've made 100,000 videos. Okay, it's not hard to, to not say crazy shit like that. It's not hard. And I know I call stuff retarded. Most of the time I call him retarded. And fuck it, I love that word. I love calling it. Fuck it. The negative stuff then again, this is not my business. I'm not going to cry if, uh, if Susan Susans me. It's a grifting comment, but even a nonverbal for you just could probably tell Phil was uncomfortable and defensive. I mean, yeah, I was, uh, I, I, I was basically muted yesterday and I managed to convey to everybody that I think he was uncomfortable. In the bucket, but they don't want to believe that the detractors, they just want to focus on the shit. You know what I'm saying? Let's just focus on the shit. You know what I'm saying? I don't actually know what you're saying. Just saying. So we're supposed to like, I, the whole show was supposed to be about the negative. honestly, I don't know. It was 3v1 only talking about negative. It, it, it wasn't a. Let's praise Dark Side Phil's show. It was supposed to be. Yeah, the there's no nothing to praise. What are you gonna praise about Phil? Let's go through a list. Uh, he's been doing this a long time because it makes him money more than anything else could make him money, and it's easy. There we go. It's easier than any other job that he has to dress up in fucking on a work outfit, go there, socialize, do stuff, put in effort. There we go. Why would we praise him for that? What is there to praise? He shows up on time. The good old uh, 672 response. He shows up where he's supposed to show up. In his own house. And is late every day. Come on. You know, that was the point of me going on there. Originally it wasn't. It was supposed to be on a normal guest. Then it turned into Phil is now interrogated. You know? Interrogated. No, but no. It, it wasn't actually. It became the interrogation when... Uh, Craig accidentally revealed. It wasn't even accidental. He just mentioned that they were having you on. And then people were like, wait, they're having Phil on? You should know a few things about Phil. And then it became an interrogation. Yeah, there's over 60,000 videos on this channel. Okay. All my other channels out there, I believe it is around 100,000 videos at this point. I okay, so? But I'm pretty sure we're close to there, right? Make less videos. Naysayer says, when you stream six times a week all year, one or six times, six days a week, two streams a day, 100,000 videos. Yeah, you're going to have moments of stupidity. I have lots of them, <laughs> right? I'm glad you're here to hang out, Kagome. Okay, I get the point. We're not talking about this anymore. Do you want to know the truth? It went you're 40 years old, Phil. You're 40. You're 40. You're not a fucking teenager. You're not in your 20s. You're not some edgelord. You're 40. Get a grip. I like this. I had no concept of what time it was. Zero. None. I didn't know. I just kept going and... I had no idea. 
<laughs> That's a uh, oh, this got leaned. We're getting a, a replay on my stream. Uh, so this was um, from some dude. Hey Phil, are your life decisions made to keep up a persona, or is it an IQ problem? Hard to tell at this point. And then it got leaned in. Super chill. Super chill. Phil got the pig noses. What you know? What was gonna? What, what time was going by? No clue. It's definitely an IQ problem. So people are saying it was unfair. If you feel it was unfair, you have the right to feel that way. I'm the one on the show, and I don't feel it was. It was super fair. It was as fair as you can get. If if they were less like hard on him, it would actually be unfair in his favor. You you can't do that. They were fair as hell. You know. Uh, let's do. Let's grab. I need a light vest. It's very warm today. A light vest. We get this one. Oh my god, he looks so stupid, man. <laughs> Let's see here. More tips are coming in. Wow, thank you guys. Wow, thank you guys. You guys still Ooh, trust me. Tip. This is not really them. Three dollar tip. Cold okay. Interview. Crazy conspiracy. I heard is that you ran a cult. They say OIC was like a general, and Derek was a high priest or something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yes. Ah, oh, yes, my children. Here. That's Derek, by the way, Derek. and he's talking to actual children. I think it's dollar tip. You think I defended myself well? Seems like they called you out numerous times. Literally, they said, well, you know, you're saying one thing, but you're not providing evidence to which I responded. You're right. I, you know, there's some things that are going to be put myself and my family at too much personal risk. There have absolutely positively been times. Like what? Like what? The things you revealed? When I thought when you told people to go look for your wife's uh, restraining order against her ex-boyfriend, is that the personal stuff that you couldn't say and you revealed without ever being asked about it? But there's no risk here. Let me just do this or that, and it 1 million percent blew up and hurt me badly. Okay. okay? Being honest. It's That's why he doesn't take risks in his content. That's why his chat needs to tell him every single thing to do. Because he can't take any risks, man. It could go bad. I could get sent a missile to my house. What if somebody pulls up with an RPG? Before That's happened. crazy, dude. What if that can happen? So, you know what I'm saying? Like, why? I'm putting myself in harm's way by putting anything out there of a bank statement or showing my mobile phone or anything like that i am okay no so, the mobile phone thing is is just gaslighting there is nothing that they can do in your mobile phone outside of uncovering even more accounts you're playing on and even more video games you spend a lot of money on making you look even worse and in the end it's gonna seem like phil's dead is phil's fault and the trolls weren't actually that much at fault because he gets plenty of money to keep himself afloat if not actually profit and save up but he chooses not to. And this whole sob story about not having to, uh, not being able to, to go to a honeymoon with his wife, it kind of going to make it seem like it's his fault. I'm not going to, right? I mean, there's the risk there. It's too great for my family and myself. Why would I do that, right? <clears throat> Where Gamer says, some of the questions they asked multiple times, I thought you answered well the first time, vice versa, some answers you gave more skirted their questions. There you go. I did my best. I really did my best. Five hours, man. We only said we make mistakes, and that us being human, but I agree. I made more mistakes than a lot of people. PS3 Troop says you don't owe them anything. I mean, I don't owe them anything. Absolutely not, I don't owe them anything. I saw an opportunity. I told you guys I wanted to be interviewed, right? Well, I got my interview, that's for sure. What is fantastic about this? Let's let's pick this apart uh, real quick. If this was his interview, he wanted an interview from a big channel that he can profit off of. The only thing he's going to get is get these, like, what, $250 this stream? Because it's literally the follow-up hype stream after this. That's, of course. He went on a smaller channel. It made him look terrible because those dudes actually did research. They asked right questions in the proper way. They clapped back when it was time to clap back. And they had Keemstar on. So this whole interview thing completely blew up in his face. And he only did it. Do you know why he did it? Because he gaslit himself that he was confident enough in his answers. And he gaslit himself because after years of not having any social interactions with anybody, he thought he would show up to two grown-ass dudes and could sell them the sob story of a lifetime. And then it would fly. And it fucking dropped dead. Drop dead. And that's right, Westside. In the end, we got an It's a Gundam message. And then it's a Gundam. He was basically Fortnite dancing. He was flossing on DSP. That's what he he went there to do. He didn't go there for like actual criticism and some some stuff. He went there to fucking meme on DSP. 
It was certainly different than I saw it kind of going down, but, uh... Butter says you don't want to put yourself in danger for nothing. Exactly right, because here's the thing. And now we get coping. Now we get crying about stuff, justifying stuff, running in circles. Here is the thing. Here's the thing. All right? Being honest. We're all here, we're chilling. Correct? And there might be, we have some newcomers here today, possibly. Welcome if you're a newcomer to my content. We're all here, we're chilling. Right? So, ultimately, with what happened, has it affected anything? Will it do positive or negative? I don't know what the net result will be, but ultimately here's... Oh, the yes. Uh, the final thing. I already mentioned this, but I'm going to repeat this as a part of, like, the wrap-up thing. The final thing is that any chance of progress that he could have had was undone by showing up to his own stream and getting a bunch of enablers kiss his ass and send him money. So he basically got the negative reinforcement. He's still going to keep being Phil. He's still going to keep being Mr. Lolcow. And all we got is a fantastic, hilarious five-hour-long interview that's going to get picked apart ages from now. It's going to get referenced. People are going to look back on it. Fantastic. My detractors will never be satisfied. Anyway, Craig said it himself. That no matter what I say and do... The detractors were satisfied. That's ironic, though. Because you look at Twitter, you look at Kiwi Farms, you look at uh, our Discord, you look at my comments from the restream yesterday... Everybody was satisfied. I couldn't see like a single person complaining about it. So it's like, okay, let's let's not say everybody. Let's say at least 90%. Even if I'm generous, 80% of the detractors were satisfied. So there you go. Even Craig was wrong. And when he started off with that, and that's one of my first notes, uh, when he started off with that, I was like, oh, that's he's giving himself an easy out. He's giving himself, like, some space so he can ask some stupid questions and get, like, a fluff piece thing. And then he proved me wrong. Uh, there we go. They will never be satisfied. Because they're, you know, they're, and from my perspective, they're in it for personal gain. That's why they keep doing it. A personal they gain. Fun of me so they can keep right. That, that is 100% correct, if I have to be honest. What gain should I be in this for? For To help Phil? To give him constructive, valid criticism so he can be a better content creator? I know that's not going to happen. I know it's not going to happen. So what I want to do is entertain myself and by extension entertain other people that might be interested in this. And if somebody wants to give him money, uh, give me money, go ahead. Sure. Somebody wants to give him money, go ahead. Somebody wants to donate to Jasper's Angels, go ahead. 100%. You get to, to make your own decision. Rolling this popularity train on YouTube. So why would they ever stop? There are situations like that escort saga story 1 million percent proven false they were just on to the next thing so why do i care but then, I don't say why do i care i guess you don't big ups uh, mark schwartz for the dollar you can say something next time dude there's tts you can say that um you love me oh yeah he says uh here's some personal gain there, there we go anything i don't disprove it oh it just continues forever it must be true it's right not true but why and you know what keemstar said resonates it sucks that he's right but he's right i i don't know if i got ddosed or not my modem got knocked off the internet and came back within about what a few minutes he didn't get ddosed and then when i come back you know basically keemstar says well it doesn't even matter anymore you had your opportunity you didn't send the pick to craig right away oh you can't you can't type a message with a super chat less than two that's that's weird dude but uh if somebody wants to send a dollar or something and say something just tag me in chat i'll read it out and because of that now it doesn't matter if you sent him one now it's over uh. yeah. He, he's right. Then again, it doesn't matter anyway. Oh. Because no one would have... For the mere cat fund, smiley face. Hey, uh, thanks, movie sign. That that goes to the, 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 the meerkat fund. I guess we're buying an actual meerkat. An actual exotic animal. I'm bringing it up here, and it's going to be a mascot. Oh. oh, I see was so flowers, seeing his daddy interrogated. <laughs> I'm sure he was. I'm sure he was, yeah. He was pissed. That's what you meant to say. But he was flowers. Uh, and uh, Black Doom says, can can you say that you hate me with the super chat? Uh, you absolutely can. And it's not even going to get deleted. Believed him either. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like, no one would have believed him either. Even if I sent him the screenshot right now, they won't believe him. They'll say he's making it up or he's dumb. He doesn't understand the game. I would believe him. Get it, right? I would believe so... him. Because, I mean, he, like, I don't know. He came across as pretty believable, if I have to be honest. So I personally... If Craig could vouch for that account 
not be the down from the rafters, not be an account that is like massive numbers. And you can obviously see he spent a lot of money. And I'm sure Craig would do his best to confirm that if he would have to co-sign on, on that statement, then I would believe him. There you go. And then we do the little baby sip. Why can't you just drink from like you know what I was thinking something of? makes I you look doing. normal? Here's what I was thinking of doing. I was going to take screenshots. Okay. Of not only WWE champions. Okay. But also other games that I've played to show him that it's the same account name. And so why didn't you do it? At least if he saw that, he'd be like, he's got an account here, here, and here, and they're all the same name. And it's not the name people say he is. There's your evidence. But now you're right. You're absolutely right. Um, Nobody would believe it, huh? Probably no one will believe it anyway. Ah, there we go. Why not? Well, yeah, it's why didn't you do it on the spot then? What what's so bad in pulling up your phone and showing up the the fucking video game you're playing? What's what's so bad about it, Bruh. Yeah. So what are you gonna do? Oh. Thanks for listening to all this copium. This is I I I would actually want to listen to the interview, but I'm gonna leave that for tomorrow probably because I gotta prepare for the Sunday podcast we're doing. I have to take a bunch of actual notes. And not the live notes that I took, because the live notes are bad. It's just mainly my commentary that, because I, I was muted, so I couldn't provide. So there you go. Uh, my notes, by the way, yeah, I can uh, I can post them in chat. So if you find something worthwhile, there's no timestamps or anything. But I I guess if you care about something that I said, maybe you can find it there. It's on pastebin.pl. Right, this is it. It's my notes. I'm gonna pin them in chat. Darjax actually found Keemstar, what he was saying was stupid. Someone could say you photoshopped. Exactly right. I mean... No, bro. He can't photoshop anything. He can't even open up paint. He doesn't make his own thumbnails. Why would somebody think that Phil would photoshop something? Why would you think that? Yes, that's exactly... He what can't even open up Google to look stuff up. Is there a possibility of uh, Craig and Adam on that being said? Yes, they've been invited. If they want to come, if they're free, they can come. On a Sunday or if some other day, we can figure it out. Because we, we're also like four dudes, so we got to coordinate all that shit. You know how it goes. So, yeah, they've been invited. ALT reached out to them. Again, credit to ALT. He was in contact with Craig. He sent him a bunch of stuff so he could ask as good questions as possible. So was TJ Gamebox. So was, uh, I think, Profit. I think Peace of Peace was involved. I think a lot of people reached out to Craig. He was very open to listening to them so there we go 100 percent right they can say i photoshopped it or whatever he's stupid purple pickle to the super chase wings reacted to your interview live i recommend you and him have a chat that would be a fun one we all why i have no problems talking with him. oh yeah tevin and proper as well yeah uh shout out tevin proper would you like to know the truth I, i've asked wings over the last several months if he would like to have an interview with me i have if he would like to have an interview we're putting a lot of prestige on interview with wings i wonder what that would be like i would love to see that man I don't think he's interested. <laughs> but don't harass him about it because if he's not interested, he's not interested. I don't think he's interested. Um, keep in mind, I have a React channel now. I have already told you guys it is my intention to have, a, a, you know, some interviews and stuff going on there. And, I, you know, he would definitely be someone I would like to sit down and talk with. Man, I would like to talk with him before. Um, Hello? I would love to talk with him before he has that boxing match with Boogie. I really would. Oh, about it. I want to talk about it. Like, how do you feel about this being, like, exploiting you for money? Because Keemstar is a bad person? Because, you know, like, I think he's a bad person. Do you think he's a bad person? <laughs> uh, did DSP get a percentage of the Super Chats? No. No. Why would he? Some people are actually sending me some nice supportive messages via email, and I appreciate people who are doing that. He's getting 100% of what he's getting right now. Why would he get a percentage of Super Chats on somebody else's show where they do all this stuff? I can't read those now. Uh, Baba Duke says... No, see, we hear Baba Duke, here you go. He says, Adam thought of the possibility as well. Come up with a solution. You could do a FaceTime with Craig. Again, there's no point. There's no point because it, people won't believe Craig either now. That's <laughs> They won't. They just won't believe it. It's, you know. Why not, though? And that, that is pretty crazy. Uh, that, that is pretty crazy. Like I mentioned, I went through Kiwi Farms. They were very satisfied with how the interview came up. The people in our Discord, they were very satisfied with how the interview came up. I personally, very satisfied with how it came up. The reception Phil could pull off would be having a fan or clan member send a screenshot of their WEC account. 
The window for proof has closed. Yeah, I, I mean, at this point, it's done. At this point, you're just giving him more time. And he had plenty of time until now to cook up some fake proof if he wanted to do it. But that... The leaks, man, in that champion's account, it's so locked in. It's so tied into him. It's so It goes so deep that for him, trying to do anything will all... Will just, like, it's not going to work, man. It's not going to work. It's just him. We got to we gotta accept it. It's just him. Well, let's see here. Because, like, you, you see in the... You can see it in the Secret Limited video because there, there you have all the compiled proof presented in a very well-constructed, very well-structured way. You can see how it's all tied into all the Discord accounts that he had that are confirmed to be him because of the Discord tag and all that stuff. You can link that to his uh, phone number. You can link that to him chatting in other people's fucking like uh, guild chats you can link that it's just like a, a trail and the, the trail remains and it's all consistent and it all points to him like uh scott steiner would say the numbers don't lie samojo and they spell disaster for you at sacrifice the numbers don't lie phil they spell disaster all right did I, I think I caught especially the bank leaks and him going on that podcast and fucking trying to tell him that those those bank statements they're not even his and i posted this on twitter today it reminds me of this classic vine uh this ain't even my neck so i'm, I'm gonna show this to you because i'm i'm a boomer or something hey is that a hickey on your neck you got a hickey on your neck excuse me is that a hickey on your motherfucking neck so you got a hickey on your neck right that's what we doing, hmm? You having bitches suck on your neck now? Is that is that how is that how we get down? Is that how we get down for real? You got a hickey on your neck? Really? You had a bitch sucking on your neck? Is that how we get down? So you're telling me that's not a hickey on your neck? What is all these lights for? So it's a hickey right there. I'm looking dead at it. So. Is that a hickey on your neck? Stop playing with me. Man, I don't got neck, bro. That neck, your neck right here. I'm looking dead at it. You tripping. So you got a hickey you on your neck. Tripping, so bro. don't don't turn your head. You got a hickey on your motherfucking neck. So what bitch was sucking on your neck? Blood, this ain't even my neck. So <laughs> bro, this ain't even my neck. This ain't even my bank account. What? You got you got your bank account leak? Dude, this is not even my bank account. <laughs> Now I'm zoning, zoning out here live on my own. He tried to pull this. He tried to do this shit with two grown ass men. They didn't buy it. Nobody bought it. Because I've been up since you know very early, like many hours early than I normally would be. Dude, and this ain't even my neck. Dude, my name isn't even a Philip. <laughs> cups of coffee and a bunch of water. That's what I'm fueled on right now. He's fueled on coffee and water. Sorry, the children's entertainer. I prefer game streams. I agree with you. And why are you going on drama podcasts talking about your drama if you agree with him? <laughs> like cat treats. Yes, he does, Willa. You know, theoretically, Wings of Boogie could go easy on each other for a payday. I mean, yeah, but the point I'm making is it's such, it's such nonsense. That whole event is it's not even about them boxing. It's about embarrassing them, making them look like jackasses for money. It's, it's disgusting, in my opinion. Don't like that. Are they grown-ass men? Like Adam said, they are grown men, right? They can make their own choices. They agreed to this, and they are willing to do it. And they actually lost weight trying to do it. So if anything, this benefits them in every single way. They get more publicity. They get the chance to be healthy with some kind of a goal in mind because they're, they're going there to fight, actually, and put on an entertaining thing. And this puts them in a better frame of view to people. So people are going to get a positive outlook to Boogie and Wings. You know, I don't. And and there's personal risk involved as well. Yeah, he he's actually acting like it's a death like it's a death match. He's acting like they're gonna go there and like jump through barbed wire and suplex each other through tables. They're gonna go there and, and punch each other with fucking gloves, with boxing gloves for five minutes. And then they're gonna be gassed and it's gonna be over. And it's gonna be free. So we don't even have to pay for it. What's the bad thing about that? 
one of them has a heart attack during the fight. They're going to have a heart attack. That's what he's concerned about. They're going to have a heart attack during the fight. I think that's a that's something that's a risk they're willing to take. It's a sacrifice they're willing to make. Like I I can't be for that, man. Yeah, he cares so much about Boogie and Wings. He cares so much because he was raised Catholic. Hard to sit there and talk openly about everything. Uh, let me put it this way, okay? Essentially, it was hard. It was hard to. Ugh. I had to maintain train of thought and rational mind. Keemstar has a way when he talks. He goes on and on and on so that you don't have a chance to react to anything he's saying. Kind of like you. That's why people have to watch your videos and pause through them. He'll say one point, then say two more points. Oh, okay, you're responsible. Wait, you just said three points. It's, it's a way of talking, very manipulative way of talking. <laughs> That's massive projection. Very manipulative way of talking. So, Phil, do you actually understand what you're doing then? If you're understanding this and you can see this in other people... Can you see it in yourself? Use you, okay. I felt like Adam and Craig were being very straightforward with their questions, while you know his team starts completely different. Yeah, there was at some point he started telling a story, right? And it's like he was saying, "Oh yeah, so the Keemstar story." And then Craig interrupted him and, and was like, "Yeah, I don't want to hear the story. I want to hear what happened with Keemstar." Right. Um. It's like they they kind of caught on at some point because there were like super chats coming in and they were saying, oh, you guys, you guys have to like stop him at some point because he's going to be filibustering. That's a thing. That's a fantastic word. I love that word. I, I uh, never saw it as as oftenly used as yesterday. Filibustering. Which is um, filibuster. Filibuster. And he is one because his name is Phil and he busts. <laughs> he's filibuster. An action, such as a prolonged speech that obstructs progress in a legislative assembly while not technically contravening the required procedures. Fuck if I know what that means. Uh, anyways, y you can probably figure that out. It's like you're talking in circles, but you're not actually saying a lot, I guess. But I'm foreign, so I can misunderstand stuff, and that's okay. You know, was it tough? Was it hard? No. Filibuster. Literally. Fill the buster. I mean that. 100%. <laughs> absolutely, positively, nothing phases me. Nothing all. phases him. Show up to his house with a rocket launcher. Show up to his house with a, sh a shotgun. Don't do that. I'm, I'm just kidding. Show up at his house in uh, Animal Crossing. Yeah, I've, I've, you know, I've been through everything. So that was like... If I was in your position, Phil, it would take years off my life. Yeah, no, nobody is in his position because he is a freak like that. That's why everybody looks at him and points at him and laughs because nobody else is in his position because his position is incredibly bizarre and crazy. Off my life. I'm cool. Oh, well, let's see here. I got another $10 tip. Whoa, $10 tip. We got a tip. This is not my opinion. This is a tipper, an anonymous tipper saying this. This is yesterday's stream. It's ethically okay to let Wings and Boogie box against each other. Two men who could easily suffer a heart attack doing it. That's indicative of his character. I think you did a great job. No, they agreed to do it. Why are we acting like Wings and Boogie are mindless drones? Why are we acting like they have no choice but to say yes? Or, or to say no? Thank you. Why are we acting about that? I think you've seen my point. I even brought it up. Oh, but they're all adults. Yeah, it doesn't mean nothing. They're desperate adults who need help. They're going to do anything they need to get help and hope for the best. Yeah, they wanted to do a podcast with you, and you said no, and that fell apart. So they're not doing it. Oh. Phil would be out cold versus Wings in round one. Oh, yeah. I, I, I definitely think so. Because, like, Wings looks like he can he can pack a punch. He could probably fuck me up in round one, too. I mean, the, he's a big guy. I'm, a, I'm just a tiny little effeminate man. Come on. That's why I talk shit on the internet. Not boxing anybody. He about suicide and stuff. It's like, dude, do you not understand how this is wrong? I, I... Plus, Wings has the pistol grip. Wings hit him with a pistol grip. It's over. And the, the referee is not going to see. And then they're going to have like a false finish. Then Rambo's going to come in to save him. <laughs> That's some crazy shit, man. Okay. Well, someone tipped me a $5 tip saying they're from a detractor channel that took balls, but they still think I need to deal with alcohol and mobile game addiction. You don't have to, again, you don't have to believe me. I mean it. You don't. You don't have to I'm believe me. To convince everyone. In fact, you don't have to believe me. I used to be addicted to mobile games. Uh, I still play them, but I'm not addicted. I used to be an alcoholic. I still drink, but I'm not an alcoholic. You can believe me if you want to, but you don't have to. 
You can believe me only if you want to. Sounds good? I think it, that sounds good. I'm very convincing. I, I might not convince anyone. Thanks for the $5 tip. That's nice of you. <laughs> at least you still have balls. That would be nice, I guess. I mean, yes, I am male. I have testicles. Hey, there we go. Well, at least by definition, like everything else by definition, he, he checks that box. You, you do have testicles, Phil. Big ups. For having something you're supposed to. Well, I did not have a toaster strudel. I had a regular strudel from the bakery. Big Daddy did a super test. It's time for duty to take an L. Good oh. podcast. I think Dave just can't stand in seeing two of his fellow <laughs> beggars actually earn their money. Uh, yeah, I mean, that's the thing. Because he feels like he's left out, but he's also left out because he feels like he's too good. He, he's too good for those people. But they also are going to make a lot more money. And are going to get exposed to more, like, views. I don't know what that means. Unless you're talking about a detractor of mine, which I don't know why he'd be taking an L. And yeah, Duty is supposed to take an L. Yeah, sure, sure. I'm sure Duty took the L. Okay. <laughs> From that street. I'm sure. Appreciate that. Uh. Ooh. I'm glad you're feeling better today, Jay. And now we're burping, we're snorting, we're farting, we're doing all that stuff. It was suppressed for five hours. Because he, he, apparently he can hold it in. He can hold it in and talk for five hours. Not snort once, not burp once. Now we're burping again. I hope you're feeling better. We don't have to hold it in. We're just at work, dude. That's good work ethic, 672. Also known as 670 cuck. And Wings lost weight for the fight. He says it's a danger for them, but hyper this fight convinced them to improve their health. Uh, they've already done that. They already both did that, remember? How? I don't remember. No, their documentaries are outdated, my guy. Wings is still fat. Boogie is still fat. We saw one of, of uh, Wings. He had no. training. That these, you're not supposed to take these documentaries as gospel. He doesn't have a personal trainer. He's still fat as fuck. That was all documented. He lost weight and came right back. He didn't have the discipline to keep it off, correct? Yeah, yes, correct. So he's, he gained all that weight back. So what is your point you're trying to make? Risk is still there. Just because you lost weight doesn't mean your heart has magically fixed itself from all the years that you put it through. <sighs> Are they going to a heart doctor? Are they getting cardiograms? <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope so. Again, it's not my business. It's actually, like, really funny, right? Because when he brings up documentaries, he talks about, they never reached out to me. They never actually personally talked to me. I wonder if June the King has personally talked to Wings. And maybe he, he has. But I wonder if his documentary has actually consulted Wings about it. Or is just some dude on the internet who read a bunch of Kiwi Farms in Encyclopedia Dramatica and watch some videos about Wings and put together a compilation video of all that info. I wonder. Bringing me into his business. I don't care about that. Why do you think he was on the show? Because there was a lot of hype around it and he wanted to promote his stuff. That's why he was on it. 100% shilling, man. It's a shill life. It's interesting. $2 tip came... Wait, 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 wait. Uh, wait, wait, wait. We need this in normal speed because this is some, like, industrial-grade copium. Just because you lost weight doesn't mean your heart has magically fixed itself. From all the years that you've put it through, all this stuff. Are they going to a heart doctor? Are they getting cardiograms? <laughs> you know what I mean? I hope so. Again, it's not my business. Keem is bringing me into his business. I don't care about that. Why do you think he was on the show? Because there was a lot of hype around it. And he... Why do you think Keem was on the show? There was a lot of hype around it. He wanted to promote his stuff. He wanted to promote his stuff. In front of, what, 10,000 people? Keemstar got a channel that gets hundreds of thousands of views, dude. Bro, you are nothing compared to Keemstar, bruh. He wanted to promote his things on a fill stream. On a fill stream. And also, you might be right, Proxycon. I, I, I think DSP brought the topic up. I think he brought it up. That's why he was on there. That's why he was on there. You see, this dude is fucking crazy. 100% shilling. This man. dude is wild. That's why I don't feel bad making fun of him, calling him all kinds of words. Because I, I know at this point he's past any kind of anything. He's just past it. He's traversed in a, in a realm. The chaos realm, perhaps. Where it's just like him. You can't help him. Don't try and support him. Don't try and enable him. Just point and laugh. There's nothing, there's nothing left for you to fix. You can't try... If you want to be a pay pig, you can send him hundreds of thousands of dollars. He's never going to learn anything. He's just going to be the same piece of shit he always was. He always will be. And in the end, you're going to realize it was all for nothing. And you're going to be the butt of the joke. So there we go. Interesting. $2 tip came in.
The podcast is entertaining. They made more than $20,000 of contributions. Will you be seeing any of that? No, and I didn't know that, and no. I, it's not about making money at all. It was there. I was. I get paid zero, zero dollars from that. Zero. There you zero. go. I will be receiving. It's not about me making money. It's not what I went on the show for. I was not paid. I will not be paid. Um, Danny did a super chat. You did fantastic. Thank you, Danny. You're being paid now, Phil. You're being paid now, and you get to keep uh, all the profits. I don't know why you're salty. Appreciate that. Purple Pickle did a super chat with enough talk shows we can revive the vest goal. <laughs> what? <laughs> so if I keep going on talk shows, I'll keep hitting my vest goals. I'm sure that's what it was about too, right? I wanted to revive the vest goal. There you go. Every every stream now, I must hit the vest goal of $150. That was the intention of going there for five hours, correct? <laughs> right. August says, I'm not sure that's fair. He seemed to handle himself in good faith. I mean, he handled himself in good faith, but he also shilled. He also he shilled. Bro, he doesn't need you to shill. He doesn't need you, man. You're nobody compared to Keem. Come on, man. Did he have to bring up that fight between... Literally, he talks about fucking dudes who get, like, tens of thousands of live viewers. Like, he talks about Sneeko and Aiden Ross and fucking FaZe whatever, dude. Me too? They don't need Dark Side fucking Phil, a pathetic 40-year-old piece of shit, worthless piece of shit. No. Did he have to bring up <laughs> that was a, a, a cool insult combo. <laughs> oh, they're losing weight. First time I'm announcing this. It was promotion. Oh. If you don't mind a diversion, search the signs of a narcissistic sociopath. Uh, I don't know if he's a sociopath. Okay, I I'm sure he's a narcissist. You can go the you can go watch the 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 Baxter Zevchenko slash Proxycon style video, reclusive in Renton. Uh, if you want further elaboration and proof, I mean, it's fantastic. We also had him on, on the podcast talking with Steve. It was great. I have watched it on my stream. Shill, 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 shill. So you can go and check out the video. If you need to be convinced, it's a great thing you can listen to for three and a half hours. And it's a banger. So you can go check it out. Uh, I don't think he's a sociopath, though. Because sociopaths, I don't know. He's just like... He's just too pathetic, man. He's just too much of a piece of shit to be, like, a sociopath. He's too worthless. He's too much of, like, a pussy. It was free promotion. <laughs> He's too much of a bitch to be a sociopath. Because when I think about sociopath, like, okay, let's see who are, like, famous sociopaths. Um, Famous, not even famous, but sociopaths. Like, uh, let's see. Let's see what we got. The 10 most famous. We're probably going to get who? Jeffrey Dahmer, Ted Bundy. What are we going to get? Ted Bundy. There we go. Charming guy. I think he was kind of extroverted. He managed to convince a bunch of people to get killed. Uh, Jack Henry Abbott, who is a notable novelist and author. So at least he was kind of smart. John Wayne Gacy, right? That's John Wayne Gacy, right? Well, there we go. And a bunch of uh, people I haven't heard of. Billy McFarland. This is Billy McFarland. This is the Fire Festival, dude. I guess so. I don't think he's a sociopath. He's more of like a, a a narcissist guy, but I don't know. And then we got Elizabeth Holmes, which is the um fuck me. I I don't know. Uh, uh how was that called? Uh, Theranos, yeah. And uh, the Zodiac Killer. And then we got Aileen uh, Warnos, the um, serial killer that was like inspiration for the movie uh Monster. So there we go. They're like sociopaths. They're kind of more outgoing, I guess. So I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't see him as a sociopath. I see him as a as a bitch boy narcissist, and not even like a cool narcissist. He's like a pussy boy narcissist. In for him, and Craig and Adam fell for it. They did. You felt he they fell for the trap. Craig and Adam fell for the trap. What was the trap? I mean, he handled himself in good faith, but he also shilled. He did absolutely. Did he have to bring up that fight between the two? No. Did he have to bring up... Oh, they're losing weight. First time I'm announcing this. It was promotion. It was free promotion for him. Free promotion. Adam fell for it. That's, it's fascinating to me that Phil thinks that Keemstar needs promotion off his back. They did. You felt, he, they fell for the trap. They fell for the trap, That's dude. That's how Keemstar operates. 1,000%. 3,000%. I did. 
The after podcast she did. was 15 minutes. It was bad. Entrance, so I stayed and I actually had some more conversation with them that was not interrogation stuff. It was more fun. No, it was uh he was slurping cock for 15 minutes. Maybe I can find it actually. Um so we can watch it on stream. Hopefully Craig is not going to hit me with a lean and manual uh chill. <laughs> so <laughs> let me just find it. it. It wasn't much. It was just him bitching about Keemstar and in the end he put on the he put on the hat. Hold on. I'll show you. This is how he looked like. This is what he looked like. He put on the hat and he was like, Oh, so the, the first time ever, the Side Scrollers podcast is going to get to see the iconic hat. Or something, something, something. Let me find if I can see it. But there was a lot of uh, discussion in the chat, so I can't fucking tell where it was. Uh-huh. Yeah, I can't find it. I don't know where where it was. Uh, oh, here it is. Here it is. Copy link, paste link. There we go. Bro, right, I cool. knew that was how it was gonna go. I did. Well, appreciate it. I'm gonna bring Travis in here. Trav, how are you, buddy? How the chat hey, go? Trav. How the chat do today? Oh, he's. Oh it no! Was, Travis it was. Dead. Uh, it chat was fucked him. up. <laughs> <laughs> Oh God! It, it was Your all, mic is really loud too, Trav. Oh, sorry. Take out on the media, you guys. Freaking great! And that's the thing. Win very much. Really appreciate uh, your support. And uh, I said, so, so Phil, like, let's let's kind of do a little uh, <clears throat> decompression here. Like, sure. were you, uh, when with Keem hopping on, how did mm -hmm. you how did you feel about that? I mean, obviously there was angst there. Um, mm -hmm. you know, and as I long as he was going to be respectful, I didn't care. And that's the thing is a lot of the times he is the, the guy who's so vocal trying to cause drama constantly because he feels that's content. I don't like that. I don't like that kind of content. So when he doesn't, <laughs> he doesn't like causing drama. So he watches other people's documentaries on his stream and talks trash about them. But it's all veiled behind, I'm watching the documentary, dude. That's just my opinion. I'm just talking about what I'm seeing. Understand that by doing so, I'm coincidentally gonna watch the uh the documentary of people that i openly dislike so i can say negative things about them that's not drama that's just like what i'm seeing the way that's just commentary he tried to contact me it immediately turns me off like you have to read the room phil's already someone who's harassed by so many people on the internet why would you then try to you know what i mean like if he just went a normal way like you had contacted me very nicely through an email let's have a couple conversations back and forth maybe the door would have been open maybe i would have considered it but when the first interaction i have with that guy is something like that where he's gonna yell on his twitter like i'm a jerk he threatened me on twitter which i didn't bring up he threatened me and said if he doesn't contact me and this is just a drama segment this this like whole thing is drama pity and appealing to sympathy and nobody's fucking buying this right now this is so pathetic because this is like kind of behind the scenes because it's all the the patreon dudes can see it not not everybody can actually watch this so he's this is how phil is behind the scenes he's a victim he's a little bitch baby cry boy fifty thousand dollars off the table I'm like, how is that a professional way to approach someone you know right so but i'm okay with him like keemstar said this is the professional way nowadays the professional way is pretty casual you drop into somebody's DMs. Hey, Phil, are you up to doing a podcast? Hey, Phil, are you up to doing this? Are you up for this? Are you up for this? That's just how it works. Coming out, listen, I, I told you I would answer anything. I'm down for it all, man. I'm not, I'm a transparent dude. I'm a transparent I'm dude. Honest as I can. I'm not afraid of nothing. People want to, you know, I've been through so much shit. Go ahead. Add, bring anyone on the show. <laughs> yeah, and I could see how somebody coming at you like that might be a bit abrasive you know what i mean if if you didn't know the context of what they were saying yeah i didn't know what he was gonna ask me for i had no clue what this was about maybe it was actually i thought it was boxing i thought originally i heard he was starting up his boxing ring or whatever and i had no interest in doing any kind of boxing or anything you know so you know he has to just all he has to do is have a civil conversation it seemed too hard for him to do that i i don't get that i really don't based on based on the conversation that we had today um do you, I mean, really, like, are you open to the idea of working with Keemstar? Because that literally, it seems legitimately like a life-changing opportunity. I don't know. Let me put it this way. It's never a definite no. That's stupid. I feel like in life. It's never a definite no. Especially in Even though he said no like a thousand times. It's never a definite no. No, 
know, with the experience I've had of but it is years being a YouTuber, you see things change. Sometimes your eyes get open to certain situations. I, I've heard so much bad stuff about this guy. I, my fans tell me, don't do it. My hardcore fans. I'm not talking about the detractors. Everybody else tells him to not do it. His wife told him not to do it. His wife is fucking moron, by the way. His fans tell him not to do it. His fans are morons. And he doesn't have an opinion of himself because he hates Keemstar, so of course he's going to say no. But he's looking for everybody else to tell him to say no. Actors, I mean the people who actually support... It's like, guys, should I jump from this bridge? And then you look around, and you, you know you're not going to jump. But you're like, should I do this? And they're like, no, no, Phil, don't do this. Don't do this. You're going to hurt yourself. You're going to die. Me on stream every day. Oh, okay. If you say so, I'm not going to do this. I, 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 I didn't know. I might have done it. Don't do it. You understand? You're just opening Pandora's box with this. You get involved with this guy. It's like doing a deal with the devil. You don't know what the repercussions could be for you, your family, or your business just because you're dealing with Keen. And I'm like, yeah, I, I hear it. I mean, yeah, payday like that? Damn, that would help so much. It would get a payday? Did I hear payday? Back on my feet at least most of the way. But do you now we got the we got the the soy voice we got the baby voice man like a payday like that oh man it would be so good like that's a lot of money would like help me a lot like short term game look at this fucking voice so yeah, pathetic like that? payday that like that so damn it would get me back on my feet at least most of the way but do you really is it's like short term gain but the insane risk of long term ruining things. You know the long-term ruining things. I don't want to just be known on the internet as the as the low cow. I have my fan base. Will I lose my fan base if I embrace that low cow culture? Like he. Wants How would he lose his fan base if he does a, a a podcast once a week that takes two hours with two other dudes? And everybody already knows he's a lol cow. His fans know he's a lol cow. His fans themselves, they show up for the fucking lol cow material. They show up for the gold dust. That's why a lot of them leave when he starts playing video games. Because they know he's a lol cow and they watch him as a lol cow. Give me a fucking break. Right. But at the same time, don't you think there's an opportunity to, to further expand that, that, uh, that fan base? I, I think there's a tremendous opportunity for you to reach a new audience that, you know, you're talking about working with Boogie and, and Wings of Redemption and, and bringing all your audiences into one and potentially, you know, growing your audiences together. I mean, one of the best ways to, nope, there's Travis. Um, one of the best ways to grow online is through collaboration. I have so, no problem collaborating with Boogie or Wings at all. Zero. Yeah, I, I you told mentioned that. Straight up, I was Phil's regulars were in the chat making fun of him. Oh, I didn't see that. But I, I, what I saw was somebody offered Phil to go and look through the chat and see who the the detractors were, like the fake fans, and they were gonna get banned. They they were gonna assemble a blacklist of fake DSP fans. We do it. I have no problem. I said to Boogie, why can't we just do our own show? Why is because of course they do that. Everybody who goes against the grain, they need to be leaned in. They're not real fans. All the real fans, they're going to stick up for Phil. That's why nobody sticks up for Phil. You see? <laughs> well, I understand. Yeah, I saw uh, 672 was there, but he's in everywhere because he's a little bitch. He's a little bitch. He wants to just uh, suck on the penny. That's what he wants. He's a producer. He'd promote it. He'd probably up the production. 672 is in everybody's chat, just like sucking it like he's the uh, Officer Sanders. Ironically, he can get it hard too. So there we go. Chin value a little bit. But what's the point of it? I'm sure if the three of us put our heads together, we could do our own show without him. We could. I don't know why it hasn't happened because I would love to do it. But I don't. I, I don't know why it hasn't happened. Says a dude who did not reach out to organize a thing. He did not hit up people to organize a podcast. He did not do anything, but he wonders why it hasn't happened. You're waiting for an invitation, Phil? Do you want to take some initiative? Do you want to put something together? Hmm, I don't know, man. Ah, why hasn't it happened? And I got to appreciate Blabs for sitting there being cute, because she is cute. I should have hit her up. Oh, I just, my problem is with Keith. I have a girlfriend, you guys, but I can have an internet girlfriend, too. For like kayfabe girlfriend, in character girlfriend. Right. But I mean, it, it's tough, right? Because once again, he you you are on a day to day basis. You are consistently, you know, you have your goals to hit. You know, a few hundred dollars. You want to hit those goals with your audience, and um, but you have an opportunity that's literally life changing money. You know, but before you even start, fifty fifty grand, like I. I 
I guess I, I the big question is how much do you really despise Keem to look past that type of money? Yeah, it's, it, again, it's, it really feels like it's a deal with the devil, right? Like, Bro, they're like setting him up for the right answer, right? The right answer is, I am a fucking filthy beggar, and I have to cling on to every single opportunity to, like, improve my situation. And Keemstar is not that fucking bad. He doesn't send out hits to people. He doesn't get people fucking murdered and stabbed on the street. He's not that fucking bad. Do I accept that I'm going to go into a business transaction that someone who I find blah, blah, blah. Uh, is going to benefit from me being a part of their content? And um, I don't know. You know, it's t it was a very tough decision. It wasn't an easy thing. I had the whole conversation with my wife about it and everything, how it would help us so much. And at the end of the day, it was like, all right. I, I said to my wife, I said, at least if he calls me, I'll have the conversation with him. I'm not going to say I'm going to do anything. Let's just have the conversation. Oh, he didn't call him the way he wants to be called. Like, here's my time. He, I know you, it's he said, she said, it's so stupid. But if you can't even go that first step to make the call when I say, let's do it now. I mean, how can you take the guy seriously? I feel like that would be a premise for how our whole business relationship would be moving forward. He'd be fully in control. My whole life has to be dictated by this lol cow podcast. What? Because whenever he wants it, I got to drop everything to answer to Master Keemstar who now owns me. No, that's not how any of that would be. It would be like once a week, you would have an arranged schedule because somebody else would take care of this, not you, Phil. And then you would have to free up the day. So you can go do the podcast for two hours and then go back on your stream. And you know what would fucking happen? After the podcast, he would get a boost in views and he would get a boost in contributions. That's what would happen. I don't like that. All he had to do is just show up to a Zoom call and talk to two fat fucking morons for two hours or even an hour. And that's all it had to take. And he would make bank. He didn't even have to do anything. Nothing. Okay, I'm my own guy. I run my own business. It's part. I want it to be part of my business, not my whole thing. Seems like that's what it would have been if I. Involved. And it would have been his whole thing. Now we're just like moving goalposts. We're like reassembling them. We're assembling them and then moving them to a different continent. It's just like mental gymnastics of like Olympic level. And it it doesn't make sense to anybody. Nobody's buying it. Maybe Blabs is. She's not even paying attention because she's just being a cutie. Who cares? Well with any sort of podcast, you know, I, I just... You're just watching my stream, right? You know, he's talking about <laughs> the, uh, you know, potential... Let's make this a meme. Blabs was just sitting there watching my stream the whole time. And she got very jealous when I started kissing Adam. The upside of it. You know, th there are certainly responsibilities with any business relationship. And I think if those are, you know, I understand your your trepidation of wanting to, wanting to hold off on... Um, you know, wanting to make sure things are in writing. I totally understand that, yes. right? But in any business conversation, it starts with a phone call and not everything needs to be in writing, you know? And I, I hope that, and I, I don't mean this in a negative way, but I hope that's something that you that you learn from here because that is, that's how the internet moves now. The internet has changed and it's, it is all boom, 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 DMs sure. and, and text and, uh, and all that. And I understand your perspective of him, him, not oh, or him calling during your stream Keemstar i understand that he but is thief himself and there is like no there's... honor amongst thieves no honor amongst thieves there we go that's facts big ups uh dylan for the sub big ups uh rodrigo for the super chat and uh, i mean he's afraid of keemstar because like i don't know he's gonna get cucked too much tremendous upside to ignore that call again if it was anyone else but keem maybe i would have actually cared a little more it was mm -hmm. it's someone i already have a negative association in my head with i don't really want to work with this guy so he's biased basically i have a negative association in my head means i'm biased it's like of all the people on the internet to offer me this it has to be him really it had to be him really anyone else no it has to be him the guy who i actually have issues with but Whatever. but but, uh, but you're... Well, that, that's the only dude who's willing to associate himself with you dsp who do you want to reach out moist critical <laughs> mudahar I don't know, dude. Though are based off of your assumptions are based off of things that you've seen about him, right? In in, in documentaries, mm -hmm. as opposed to you know, once again, it goes back to Wait. you know, pe people make assumptions about Phil as well, and 
you know, I, I, understand, I, totally understand sure that. That. I totally understand that. And everyone has a right <laughs> to have a subjective judgment that they can make about people on the internet based on how they behave, how they see. What I found is that people who subjective. Oh, yeah, uh, that, that's a good point. Uh, Rich uh, Review Tech USA, he reached out and he's not Keemstar, but there we go. Tell me, wow, that is so different than how you're portrayed on the internet right team oh look um me and blabs that's not gonna work out she's a she's a harry potter fan i don't i don't do those i don't not anymore the, that's a red flag much how he's portrayed in a lot of this i'm stuff. sorry it's that's a deal breaker for me is, you know and that's what some people just don't have issue with it that's fine if you like drama content love it go for it i'm not here to oh no i don't mean the 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 jk rowling stuff it's more of a per personal thing I, I'm not even. I, I don't care about that stuff. If you if you like it, that's cool. But I I'm not gonna date you. It's it's a uh, it's a personal thing. It's a personal experience type situation. I was just like, it's like when Cat was forced to watch Marvel movies. I was forced to watch Harry Potter, and it wasn't worth it. I don't like it. Someone or or their content. But I'm gonna tell you if I don't like it. I don't. I don't like that drama stuff. I think that's misery broker stuff. It's misery broker. Hurting or. Well, well, you're miserable and you're broke, DSP, so that's right down your alley. Following in the misery of others and promoting it further just to make a buck on their back, right? I hate that stuff. So I know that's what he does. I've seen it. I've seen his shows. I know that's what it is. I don't like that. So there's a difference between here's a bunch of negative stuff about Phil, but if you actually watch his content, it's different than what people say. You go to Drama Alert, you know what you're getting. You've seen it already a million times. Right. And I, I understand that, but do you think that his... his this is a shout-out to Hate Army Watch for this, for the, the screenshot. ...was the baseline that allows him to do these other things. You know, like everybody has, everybody receives their funding in different ways, right? He he made money with Drama Alert. Then, then uh, he used that money to generate more money through other lines of business, right? Mm -hmm. um, and I, I think that's, that's kind of the bigger thing. You know, I don't think, and it didn't sound like... Um, the podcast would be built around the idea of, of um, you know, really built around the idea of talking about drama. Bro, why are we talking about this? Let's just skip this. I'm going to post the link in chat and I'm going to pin it because this is just a waste of time. Yeah, uh, uh, that that's a good question, Dwight Race. Am I going to get to the actual uh, Nazi hat part of the thing? I will. Who could potentially get Of course. Of course. Um, have you... Um, I don't know. Like, let's. let's can I, can I, can I do time. something? Can I do something really silly that I wanted of to do course. the whole show? There of we course. go. He wants to do something silly. First time I, I I heard about this, I thought he was gonna do a bubble blow. That would have been perfect, but he's not creative enough. I'll do this for the patrons, the guys who support your show, which is please. The day that Dark Side Phil appeared on your show, Side Scrollers, was probably one of the most momentous things that you'll always remember. But for me, uh oh, it was Thursday. Bruh. 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 No! No! I want to see my my girlfriend's reaction to this. Oh, there we go. Oh, that's a she. She is not. She is not amused. She is not amused. <laughs> that's a bison cat. <laughs> oh. Oh, dear girlfriend. That's like, exactly I'm, what it is. You've seen this in pictures, right? I will protect you. You need a strong, effeminate man behind you to protect you from degenerates like this. I will take care of you. I will even watch Harry Potter again. Right, and people say... I'm willing to do Nazi that. Cap. Okay. No, it's an M. Bison replica hat that I wear when I played Street Fighter and other stuff. So what do they say? He's a Nazi, right? It's like... Go. And now it's like we, we go back to being a victim immediately, dude. This dude is impossible. Impossible. Bro. Once again, Phil, come on, dude. It looks <laughs> it looks way <laughs> like come on, dude. You got like You know I had to do And Craig is like, dude, I can actually see why they call you a Nazi. It looks like it. Wait, I had to bring it back. <laughs> yeah, that's fine, but I, having never seen I've seen pictures of you in that like, <laughs> you know, it's one of those things, but so seeing it now, jeez. Jeez, it's it's tough, man. Like, dude, drop the hat. I'm telling you right now. Drop there we go. There we go. He's literally fucking telling him, bro. He's telling him. He's telling him, Phil, you do look like a Nazi. The trolls are right, you moron. Of course, he didn't say that. I'm saying that. Uh, also, Blabs, hit me up, girlfriend. I need 
Adibab girlfriend. Adibab girlfriend. Adibab girlfriend. Dog. Hat. <laughs> Drop it. Just get rid of the hat. You don't need I don't, the hat. I don't wear it often anyway. I really don't. It's very rare when I bring it on because you can tell the trolls want it. That's what they the want. The trolls want it. <laughs> Why do you care about the, what the trolls want so much? Why do you care about the trolls so much, dude? Oh, oh, Travis. Let's see. Travis is in real quick. Black hey, Travis is back. Do you, do you he went to take a dab. This dude is stone beyond belief. You can't even see if he has eyes or not. You just see like two sets of eyebrows. <laughs> we got an extra 15 minutes. Bro is minute. baked. I mean, uh, Blabs, Blabs, Travis, what, what did you guys have? I'm still processing, to be honest. <laughs> Come it back. It might take to a me. few weeks. By the time the next show happens, it'll finally process. Uh -huh. right. Yeah, it was a it was a busy day. Let's say that. <laughs> oh yeah, he's been busy, dude. He's busy. Yeah, you guys did well. I really hope that there was support for the show because you guys put out a great product. I've watched. Oh, it. you see, now we're sucking, we're sucking the penny. Oh, I hope you guys got a lot of support. I hope you guys got a lot of super chats. I got you got a lot of views today. Today, at the start of his non-podcast, what does he say? Oh, they're shit-talking me? Why do you think that is? Because they got a lot of support yesterday. And I was hoping that at the very least, with all the drama you guys have been over for two weeks now because of me, that at least something positive came out of it. So. Well, we appreciate it, man. Um, it, it, was, it was a really eventful day for sure. Uh, I, I very much look forward to... Uh, to the next next time we get together and talk i think that me too uh, it'll be just as anticipated i will um you know i will I, I think that there are um detractors who would love to ask you questions uh similar to gundam um and there there's a lot of people have questions that are very very nitty-gritty like super like there's this DSP and then there's these things and then there's like these little tiny like little things that three people care about right um, and I, I, I feel it'd be it'd be interesting to kind of have some of those questions answered as well um, but but I, I'm I'm really proud of the show I'm proud of you Phil I'm proud of you for coming in and Thank you. and uh, it, it like I said I, I think if nobody can say you ducked a challenge and I, I think that we asked hard questions today. You you answered them as best as you possibly could in the way you know how to answer them. Um, and uh, Travis, do you have anything else before we wrap? Yeah, I'll say this from all the things that people were saying on Twitter that you won't show up, you were getting paid, you knew the questions. You, it was uh, it was everything. I wasn't that expecting they, Keen. Yes. That was a shock. Uh, yeah, well, that's true. You know, of all that, none of that's true. And this was on the fly. Clearly, you saw me mess up on the fly. Keem showed and up we were on live. the fly. And we are live, yes. Yep. Twitter was telling me we weren't live, and it was all previously <laughs> recorded. And I was like, mm. Bro, people on Twitter be saying crazy shit. You know how Twitter works. They just make shit up. But this is what we got. This is the, the hot photo that we got. This is it. This is it, dude. This crazy as shit. Anyways, uh, back to uh, reality from yesterday. I gotta go to the bathroom. Kid, I'm not judging Keemstar from one YouTube vid. I'm judging from his entire history and watching some of his, his drama alert stuff myself. That's what I'm judging off of. Did Kat watch it? I, she told me she watched some of it, not all of it. She watched some of it, and she was disgusted by Keemstar and closed the street. <laughs> wow. Jade, there will not be any gaming on this stream. No, there's no time for that, as you can see. As you know, the stream ends at 4 p.m. There is no time for game. Tonight, I'd be down for Like a Dragon Ishin if you guys want that on the late stream. I'm also down for just interacting. Maybe we'll do a poll. We could easily just jump back into regular gameplay content tomorrow, depending. Also, I didn't do a level one podcast today. This is a long week for me, guys. I'm streaming seven days this week. Yes, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday. I'm here seven days this week. So we're going to make big pushes to try to finish Hogwarts Legacy, to try to get really far, maybe even finish Wolong. My goal is to try to get as much done before Resident Evil 4 comes out. Yo, we're talking about he gaming? Did, he will be back for part two. I don't see why he would need to be. <laughs> he said his piece, right? Oh, this, this dude is getting baited. Hey, Phil, do you think Keem is going to steal your spotlight again? Huh? Do you think so? <laughs> um, and that's that. I don't see why he would have to be on a show interviewing me again. 
Oh, cat, cat, watch some of it. PF, yeah, I know. I'm not gonna rewind. I'm. I trust you on this. Thanks for the lore, Goral. PF says he's asking about the bank leaks, and you know. He's asking about the bank we leaks. You notice that we literally never went into the true identity theft stuff. Yeah, you literally did though. The bank leaks, but you literally did though. That's the bank leaks are the identity theft. It's the same thing, and you tried to deflect and lie about it. Yes, it is the same thing. Uh, address what really happened. Maybe that'll be part two. Maybe oh, part yes, two, yes. We never addressed what really happened. This is like, I don't even know what it's like. It's some stupid shit. Tell more my side of stuff rather than just his side of stuff. I don't know. We never got to a lot of stuff, quite frankly. <clears throat> why don't you say it on your stream? Why, why do we have to wait until then? And if he said it on his stream, then it's bullshit. Because they talked about it on the podcast. No, Green Goblin, I'm not asking them for any percentage of donations whatsoever. I ask them. A hundred percent. They should ask uh, for any donations that came when Keem was there. They should be given to Phil. Because he stole his spotlight. This is just dead air right now. We're just decompressing. <laughs> it's actually... And his chat was probably fast as fuck, unlike now. Uh, it was probably fast as hell. He just couldn't figure out, like, what to read because it was all stupid. Part two coming soon. Yes and, yes and no. For I understand, there will be a part two, but it's going to be a ways out. Don't expect it in the next few weeks to month. Maybe, maybe a month or two out. It's not going to be... You know, they want to do their own show, man. They just had two weeks of drama around me. They're going to publicly, likely publicly announce uh, that they're not doing it anytime soon. They want me back. I want to go back, but I'm not going back in, you know, in next week, next month. It's going to probably be like, you know, April, May, June-ish at the earliest. Yeah, we got to spread up the hype. We can't, we can't give up all the hype content within like two weeks. We can't do that. You see what I'm saying? Oh, let's see here. I received a $5 tip. I mean it. I'm impressed with your performance. One day you'll openly talk about mobile game addiction. Here we go again. I'm genuinely interested in keeping up with you now. I've thought negatively about you for a while. Today you're your ground as a man that took balls with nothing. What? Nothing what? Being well. delusional takes balls? Being so gaslit in your own fucking bullshit that you show up and you try and sell that bullshit? You try and peddle your own bullshit to people that will not buy it for a split second? That takes balls? I think that takes delusion, dude. I think that's what it takes. I think it takes a lot of effort into gaslighting yourself. I don't think it takes balls. Elden Ring DLC. I will be playing Elden Ring DLC. Thank you for another tip. Again, um, what was I going to say? Oh, I said this on the show. I mean, I used to have addiction to mobile games. I admitted it. I admitted that I used to have addiction, but it wasn't the games people say today. It's the other games that I used to play. You know? But also, it's like, dude. Why do they say you have a delusion? It's like, I used to be an alcoholic, but I still drink. I used to be addicted to mobile games. I still play mobile games. What does that lead me to believe? You're still an alcoholic, and you're still addicted to mobile games. Illusions of grandeur when you brought up being the most prolific. <sighs> you literally are, because Adam doesn't know that. He didn't do the research. So prolific means just a lot of stuff, right? Is that what it means? What does prolific mean? Prolific right to uh, uh, of a plant producing much fruit or foliage or many offspring i guess that's it Pre present in an in a large number or quantities plentiful so yes that's what okay i guess he is i guess he is but i i think prolific in like when when people use that term usually means you're known for something good and you're like actually known for releasing a lot of good stuff not just like manufacturing a lot of product maybe that's what it means by definition but i guess yeah because i think when when somebody says oh yeah he's a prolific uh prolific youtuber let's say then they released a lot of quality videos that's how i understand it he doesn't know that he actually doesn't know that I put out that many videos. Just yeah, it doesn't matter, man. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. They're trash. It doesn't matter what they are. 
Because, like, what, 30,000 of those videos are, like, 10-minute long playthroughs of games that came out in 2010. Right? That's, like, 30,000. And the rest is a little bit better videos and some rambly videos and some DSP tries it and some other stuff. It's not impressive. It really isn't when it's all bad. And, oh, my God, look at his chat. Nightbot. One, two message combo. Then we got two other messages. Then we got Nightbot again. Then we got one other message. Then we got two Nightbot messages. Wow, that's a great stream. By vlogging Keep up the positivity. Just between there, you're almost at the 100. And I have all these other channels. Okay, and you're back at level one. 15 years, and we're back here. Why does it matter? How, how does that make you prolific? <laughs> but they don't know that. Oh yeah, I got I got people to say Nightbot in chat, and now they're getting <laughs> their messages deleted. <laughs> well, there you go. You're getting lean. I don't know what prolific. You're Are you like I I would stop flexing about this. Is that if I was still like begging for pennies on a daily basis, I would stop flexing. Honestly, it's it's time to wake up. It doesn't matter. Of side scrollers. I don't know what that means. I was on the show. Am I official? I guess I was officially on the show, no? No. I was in a standard. Yes. Guest. Me being on the show was a different kind of guest, right? Okay. 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 <laughs> when you talk about these things, when you struggle with addiction. Bro, go fuck yourself. I'm putting this on 1.5. Or. Uh, let's see here. Your mental state around an instant incident humanizes you. I'm just being honest, right? Cool. Yeah, no, no. Uh, you're actually getting more dehumanized when you're so deep in delusion where you're willing to ignore actual facts. And you're willing to ignore actual truths and you go out of your way to lie about stuff when you're being given an out. You're being given an actual opportunity to redeem yourself, to admit to your faults. And you lie about it? Then that dehumanizes you even further. A little bit of super jacket, losing money from your show like wings it with Woody and Kyle for Painkiller already. You skipped out on your own personal camping trip. There you go. There you go. That's what happened. There you go. You have no comment for this one. Thank you, Purple Pickle, for the super chat. <clears throat> PS3 Troops says it's so easy just to go straight to the source and watch your actual streams. Yeah, they're yeah. trash. They're bad. This is what the actual streams are. Him gaslighting himself. We're on my actual stream. There we go. You see the content. He get a bunch of people kiss his ass and validate everything he has to say. He gets a bunch of yes men who just give him money to tell him he's amazing. And the moment he goes and talks to third parties that are as objective as humanly possible towards DSP, he shits the bed. That's what happens. That's exactly what happens. Thank you, comment. Correct? Am I gonna get you? Wait, wait, wait. Uh, 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 is this correct? The PW Dubs, he's doing a live react to today's follow up about him. Oh, that's pathetic as fuck. To buy what a fucking piece of shit. But I guess he, he realized he can make some cash off of it. He can get some clout. So, yeah, I guess, uh, yeah, let's validate this by going on his Twitter. Let's check this out. Uh, so, in light of things. My viewers are telling me, my viewers are telling me this. I have to change the schedule. Tonight on the late stream, I will be doing a live react to today's side scroller podcast to see if what I'm hearing is true. I really hope it is not, but we'll see. Oh my fucking God. This is, wow. This is bad. Man, we're going to need like 16 hours to talk about this on Sunday. This is going to be like wild. And we already have the... The divorce line exceeded by one hour. We got a stretch thanks to Chu. Shout out Chu. But man, this is this this dude is digging his own grave, man. And he's he's gonna do a like a a, a four eighty degree flip into his own grave. It's phenomenal. He's willing to do that. A beat the dragon t-shirt they mentioned it was that the and you know what on the podcast they're gonna talk about being invited to that being said. So that's gonna be funny as hell. It's going to be hilarious, him addressing it. We're gonna use it. So let's see that. He's, he's going to be like, I've never heard of him. Are they like the new sons of Kojima? I guess they are. Like, people are telling me they are. They're trying to kill me. 
making songs about me? What? Hmm. I wonder if that's what they used or not. No, I'm not buying that shit. Adam says he doesn't trust me when my internet's off. That's fine. He do again, he doesn't have to trust me. They don't, you know? It's Everyone has the subjective ability to make judgments for themselves, to, to you know, and they, he can. That's fine. Right? Simon to the Super Chat, I like your responses to Heemstar. Well, I'm glad you liked him, Simon. I did my best to hold my own in someone who literally comes out of nowhere, tries to... Am me. I Fred? Why am I Fred? Imagine if Sam was like Fred. So, you know, like... But, but Fred was kind of weird because Fred was the only one who actually stood out in the whole thing. Nobody else in, in the SOK actually, like, had any any sort of personality worth engaging. So, yeah, there you go. But imagine if, like, Sam was like Fred and he was secretly just holding us all, like, in line behind the scenes. We were having, like, daily meetings talking about stuff. <laughs> that would be crazy. No, I'm not I'm not watching the side scrolls recap. I just have I have way too much shit to watch, man. I have to rewatch the whole podcast again and then I'll have to watch this rad bastard talk about this shit for like fucking like I don't know, like 3 hours probably. So tomorrow is going to be packed and then on Sunday we're talking about it on a fucking podcast. That's going to be crazy. So this weekend is just packed with having to do this shit. But that's that's the, uh, the the fucking responsibility I put on myself having a channel about this, so I feel like I have to do this, right? I mean, tries to do something. It's for the cad kid. Something, you know, promoting his own stuff. Because you guys asked for it. Also trying to make himself look good. In reality, he's not going to look good. What he did, he did. I didn't lie about it at all. He literally lied to me, lied on the show. Saying, I called you when, I, when you told me to call you. No, you didn't. You never did. You literally ignored my messages about when to call. Or you can't tell what time zones are, I guess. I don't know. You're, you know. Can't tell time. I can't help you with that. <laughs> yeah, but you know that's that's kind of the thing with this. With uh, we have a channel talking about DSP. Of course, it's the stupidest shit ever to talk about DSP, right? And I have a channel doing it. But I see people are liking it. We see people are liking it. On that being said, we see people liking WPIG. So naturally, that makes us want to make more stuff like that and put out as, as many quality stuff that people are going to enjoy as possible. So yeah, I'm going to sit through a, a stupid fucking video about DSP so I can add my take on this. The Pig Roast Saga is going to be lit. The Pig Roast Saga? I mean, it's, it's like, it's very interesting how that's going to go, honestly. So uh, yeah, basically, this is, this is what we do because people care about it and they like it and there we go. And they say it's meaningful. It's meaningful. PS3 Troops says it blows my mind. Almost as if the truth is underwhelming with drama. It is. The truth in life is usually very, very underwhelming. You know? Linoli says you had so many internet problems, I believe it. What do you mean by that? I don't know what you mean by that, Linoli. Can I not drink seltzer on stream anymore? No, I love seltzer. I'm going to continue to belch every day. Do I think Keem got confused about time zones? I don't think Keem cared. I think Keem feels like he controls every situation in his life, and therefore if Keem calls, I should just answer. No. If I'm doing my daily live stream, I will not just answer the phone in the middle of my live stream. Why not? Say this is an important call. No. I Why not? Working. Uh, no, you're not, man. You're just putting way too much prestige on it. Everybody can see through this bullshit. And not, it's not that deep. It's not that special. I mean, your viewers would understand. It's not a big deal. Because this is the same dude who goes... Like, he takes breaks, right? Remember when he was making his uh, sauce? He was taking breaks to stir the sauce. So he would be gone for like five minutes to stir a sauce. So don't give me these excuses. They don't fly. They don't mean anything. They're worthless. Sorry. That's my work is my work. You guys are my priority when I'm on a stream. Not anything else around me unless the house is burning, my wife needs my help, or, you know, the cops are outside. You guys are, the, are what I'm doing, man. Not them. You guys are what I'm doing. <laughs> Not, not him, for sure not him. Mango Jewel Pods, come on. You've already been saying negative things about me for weeks. Now you're going to try to pile on. Come on, dude. Just, just stop it. If, you're, if, if you really don't like me to leave, don't sit here and keep saying negative stuff, man. <laughs> Mango Jewel Pods is getting lean. Program? That your controls are giant buttons in front of you. So when I felt like I had to burp, I muted the mic and then burped and then came back. It was very easy to do. Okay. The difference between doing that and doing it, like right now, if I was going to burp, I could go, okay. But if I'm... Yeah, you can set up a hotkey like I have. Mine is the... I, I forgot how it's called. Gaming over here, I can't go do that. 
and that's what most of the time when the I back when tick, I move, the back tick, the the key under the space, uh, the the escape key. So when I press that, I'm muted. There we go. That's why I forgot to unmute myself half the time. Or whatever, right? I'm doing it when I'm playing a game. You see what I'm saying? Double J did super chat. Why don't you steal Keem's idea, create an exclusive podcast without him? Why didn't Keem delegate the task of contacting you to his team? I outright again. I'm, I I would do something with Boogie and Wings. I would. That was double what? Name, by the way. Have sex? I would do something with Boogie and Wings for sure. What? Make love? Sure. I would do something with them. Who has to organize it though? Who's gonna take initiative? Uh, one lazy fuck or the two other lazy fucks? Three of us could work it out together. We, we can work it out together. Who has taken initiative? Did you reach out to them to try and organize it? No, he's waiting. He's the prince. He's the king. king. I don't even know what the value added is for king. I don't understand it. Just us doing a, a podcast on YouTube ourselves would be successful. Why do we need him involved? Why is he going to take a cut? I don't think there's enough value added there at all. Why? Because he's going to get you sponsored day one. He's going to get you exposure day one. He's like actually a relevant guy, you know. For him to be involved. Seriously. And you're absolutely right. If Keem was serious, he would get merch. He would get all those sponsorships. He would get it posted on, on streaming services immediately. So they would have extra revenue streams. Why couldn't he have he a knows how this shit works. In a in a snap of his fingers, he could make it happen. The people reach out or whatever. It was ridiculous. The way he expected that I was going to say, Keem, if Keemstar wants to contact Darkside Phil, my life ends right now until I talk to the man. He thinks he's that important. He is not. Okay? He is not. Especially not in my life. He's like, you know, not a big deal. He's not a big deal. That's why he renamed his podcast according to something Keem said. That's why. Because he's not a big deal. I got a dollar tip. Sell the fappening merch. No, I'm not. I've already explained. It was a depressing time in my life. It has negative associations. I don't like talking about it. My wife doesn't want to hear he about it. He jerked off because he was depressed. <clears throat> Depression makes you pull your cock out. Facts. I have no feud with Keem. <laughs> I don't. I don't care about the man. I Bro, you can't have feud with a guy who buries you every chance he gets. You, you can't. You can't have a feud with a guy who destroys you constantly. That's a very one-sided feud. I not care about the man. I, I don't like keep bringing him up. Could you guys, like, not mention him anymore? I don't care about the man. I don't want to talk about him for the rest of the show. It's a waste of time. It's like you have a wrestling feud with, like, I don't know, The Rock and Eugene. Remember Eugene? Like this dude? Uh... Oh, no, this is going to get me taken down because it's fucking WWE. Well, it's Eugene. And uh, Phil is Eugene. Oh, yeah, Gilberg. And then, like, he's an actual jobber. How do you have a feud like that? How? Michael Cortez is a podcast with Ewing's Boogie and Review Tech. Why do we need Review Tech? Why do we need Review Tech? Of all the people involved there, I think Review Tech would be the least interesting. Right? That is actually true, though. I don't think he adds anything either, being honest. Big ups, uh, Rosaria for the sub, dude. Uh, or lady. While the Cody's, I think it went extremely well. All right, do we have any moderators? King Gokin, you're here, correct? King Gokin has a unique situation here. He's one of my moderators. <laughs> I'm curious, what did you think, King Gokin? Mods, butt kissers, what do you think? Tell me I did good. I need that encouragement right now, please. Because people are trolling me. I need somebody to tell me I did an amazing job, please. Please validate me on the internet. Please! And what did you think about it? Or did you not? Please! I need it! <laughs> Talk about my wife. Please. King Gokin? Hello? We Hello? Are what are you talking about? We did that a long time ago. <laughs> Oh, uh, now we're just... Are there delay on the stream today? Is there delay? Why is he not responding? Hey, you're supposed to be at work, King Gokin. What are you doing? Are you just putting this in the background, not paying attention? You're supposed to be working. Hey, you slacker. I thought I'd set it up to have low latency, but it seems like there's a little bit more latency on this stream. Maybe I set it up wrong. Uh, I don't think I can check that now, though. It seems like I did. It seems like there's latency or something. Like, everything's going a little slow. Oh, can we get a like chocolate starfish? Slower. Chocolate oh. bar. Star fish. <laughs> of course, I'm gonna play the whole one just because I appreciate you. Ladies and gentlemen, introducing.
introducing the chocolate starfish. There we go. Think of uh, Freddy Friday. This is Freddy Friday today. To me. Than usual. A usual strain. I'll check it later. King Hogan said, I thought the interview was fair, way longer than I thought it would. Oh, no, I thought it was going to go long. I knew it, man. I knew it was going long. Absolutely, I knew it was going long. Craig warned me of such. I told him my time was their time, you know. Nianna says, I thought it was mostly fair. Keemstar showing up was very dumb. I don't think that they'll have you as a regular guest because they think you're lying to them. There you go. <laughs> there you go. There you go. They think I'm a liar. There you go. Uh, he's reacting to this today, though. Uh, if you if you missed it, he's going to be reacting to, to Adam calling him a filthy liar. Uh, I, he didn't call him a filthy liar. He called him a liar, though. And he called him a bitch, which was great. Because uh, Jay Ruiz for the membership, dude. Bruh. Charge X says there is a delay right now. Oh, there is a delay. Maybe I didn't click the button that says, you know, be live or whatever. Maybe what? Oh, hold on. Oh, yeah. It's, I didn't click it. It's it sets a normal latency, guys. That's why I'll fix that for tonight's stream. Apparently, we're not at natural <laughs> latency for some weird reason. Why not? not? Something changed it. So Something gonna... changed it. Sorry about that. Void did a super chat. You three would be getting a guaranteed 50k bad how? I... Do you... Void, I already answered the question. Why are you asking me the same question again? Bro, yeah, don't don't answer this. We've yeah, heard the answer. The I don't know, because he doesn't care that much to to look at all your responses. <laughs> I don't know, man. <laughs> It's, it's so bizarre that he thinks people care about him so deeply that are his fans. No, it's just the trolls that care about him to make fun of him. Talk to those guys again. <laughs> he, he has such a high opinion of himself and he's just sitting there looking like this with the vest and the hat and the glasses <laughs> and the goatee. And it's all like kind of overexposed. It looks really bad. I didn't do this. This is him making himself look like that because this could look much better. The super chat, how would that 50k not help you tremendously? It didn't say who said it wouldn't help me tremendously. Who said it wouldn't? Again, it's a weighing of short term gain versus long term impact. What is the long term impact? Cool thing going on. Thing number one, doing business with someone who I don't respect, whose content I don't like, who I feel has made a lot of blood money on the internet. And taking blood people. money. <laughs> I'm not okay with that. Number two, <laughs> he's like smuggling people across the border. <laughs> Keemstar is like. Uh, he's calling hits out on people. It's like you don't mess with Keemstar. <laughs> he's gonna hit send shooters to your house. Out there as a lol cow <laughs> it's um, a lol cow. Only come for that. I'm Mr. Lol cow. If I do this lol cow cast, correct? Lol cow cast. It's tons of attention. The lol cast, dude. There we go. It's a it's a catchy name. It's the lol cast. Makes money. I make a lot of money. Now my streams double to triple in viewership. But right. Everyone here is a troll. Ha ha! You're a lol cow. Ha ha! Troll 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 troll. Immediately, we lose what we have. We lose the interactivity. Oh, and uh, there we go. We have a super chat in his chat. You can see this. Was was it a planned hit? They shut on you hard today. Whoa. Was that a planned hit? I don't know, man. We're going to see his response live on the late stream. I'm going to be sleeping then. Unless I pull like an all-nighter, which is not going to happen. We lose the meaningful nature of my streams. <laughs> we lose the meaningful nature of the streams. <laughs> because I put myself out there as a lol cow. You know what I'm saying? Like, uh, but, but, but you would still have like the sub-only mode chat and it would still be ran like it's your chat. So you would get all those people banned. Does it really matter? Because you're like, you still get the meaningful echo chamber nature of your chat. That's what you, you still get to have that. Change the way that people perceive who I am and what I do. Right now, everyone makes fun of me as a you know, laughing stock of the internet. That's fine. But I do have dedicated fans. I don't want to ruin that for my fans. I don't want to ruin what we have right now. I worked 15 years to have this. Why should I throw that all out for short-term personal gain? Bro, you worked 15 years to, like, not get anywhere. Like, what, what are we talking about? You should be looking for every chance to get ahead. Because you're very behind. Because if you were doing this for 15 years, you should be way further ahead. It doesn't seem to make much sense to me. You know what I mean? Can you imagine if there were 2,000 people in this chat right now all talking with troll messages? How the hell do I even do a show? You just you, you just, just don't look at the troll messages? I don't know. You collect the super chat, say thank you for the super chat. You called me a, a gout-ridden sack of shit? Fine. Cool. I am one. Thank you for the super chat. Right? Is that? Do you guys understand that line of reasoning that I'm saying here? No. No, Chris, I had zero clue that Keemstar was going to appear on the show. Zero. Because he's acting like he's this dude with, like, massive integrity. 
And he's just not. That's as simple as one, two, three. He's not. He has no integrity. He just acts like he has some because it gives him the higher ground on people like Keemstar. When you can say like, oh, Keemstar, you have no integrity because you do all this drama shit. And you make blood money. And I don't. I make meaningful contributions from people that are meaningful and robust. Okay? Sound good. Correct? Correct. This Big Papa Phil, it was supposed to be called the Lal Cow Podcast or something to that effect. It was supposed to be an insulting name on purpose. Insulting. That's exactly what the premise of the show was. Is, is it? It's not insulting if you own up to it, though. Level 1 is not insulting since he owned up to it. Is it? It's not insulting anymore. Now it's a cool thing. He likes to brag about it. We're having fun all the way down on level one. That's what he says. Well, that's not really insulting. So, voice, I think you're, you're right about selling stuff off. Selling off. I can't read it. It went off the screen. Oh, it went off the screen. It's not like you can. I don't really care about you can scroll up. I don't like even bring that up on my stream. What does that have to do with me? I don't care about ReviewTech's personal issues. This is the same guy who uh, tweeted at ReviewTech to say that he sympathizes with his personal issues. I can find it here. It's here somewhere. I'm not ReviewTech, nor do I care about his issues. I don't care about his issues. Hmm, I can't seem to find it. Pizza. I think my wife and I made one of those oven pizzas the other night. Like, like last week, some point. I don't know when. I don't know why you're asking me that either. Hey, they made a frozen pizza the other night. Big O's cat. I can't find it. I don't know why. It's supposed to be here. <clears throat> Burnell? All right, uh, Jane. I'll see you hopefully tonight. If we do, if we do Yakuza. Oh, there we go. Here it is. Nation. We'll see. Uh, Phil, who doesn't care about uh, Rich's personal issues, says says this. This is what he says. I sincerely wish you and your daughter the best. People told me about what you are going through tonight. And it sounds awful. No more beef, man. Let's move on. There we go. We're moving on from the beef. Beef has been cancelled. No beef. It gives you gout. It's not cool. We're eating turkey burgers. I wonder if the, and frozen pizzas. If the, the hoopla will, and whatever we got on DoorDash. Will have died down for tonight's stream. We could actually have like a normal late night stream tonight of gameplay. Or if we need to basically take the whole day to decompress or not, I have no idea. <clears throat> I guess we'll have to see how it goes. Maybe I'll do a poll during the break. Oh, he can get you spotted for your stuff. Craig's idea about sponsors not necessarily being shilling is a good point. Yeah, I mean, but Savoy, what do you mean? What was his idea? His point was just be, if you're with team, he'll get you sponsors. Or... No, that wasn't his point. His point is that you shit on people who get sponsors, but having sponsors does not necessarily make you a shill. That was his point. But now we're talking about Keemstar again because Keemstar is, is I guess, I don't know, rent-free. For the show. It wasn't like, oh, he can get you sponsors for your stuff. It was only for his show. Do you see? The interview gave me more respect for you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Appreciate that. Well, okay. If you had absolutely zero respect for Phil before the interview, and you see him actually showing up and answering questions truthfully and honestly, then you would have one respect for Phil. But previously you had zero. So one is more than zero. So I guess that, that is correct. Correct? So fair play Correct. easy to quit when you join. I could yeah, I could have backed out at any moment. What am I gonna do? Am I no, the, the the debunk stream I'm I'm not gonna watch this tonight because um watching his late stream means I have to stay up until basically seven AM my time. So I need to stay up all night to do it. And I, I just can't do that. Again, I have been through it all. I'm not afraid of anything, man. I'm not. He's not afraid of anything. Scare me away. Except um, things that put his family at risk. I'm not afraid of anything, but I can't show you a screenshot of my champion's account because it's going to put some unknown risk on my family. I, I can't do that. I can't do that. He's not scared of anything, though. Except the things that scare him. Are you out of your mind? Are you out of your mind? I'm not scared. What are you telling me? I'm scared? No, you're fucking stupid. That's what you are. I'm not scared. 
dollar tip someone talking about being real and snorting. Are you crazy? No, can I <laughs> what did they say, though? All right. I've been making content for 15 years. Oh, no. Correct? Are, are you going to go fuck yourself? Correct? I have always had post-nasal drip. <clears throat> okay. It's always been bad. It's always been annoying. People always complain. They call you a pig roach. And the pig part is because you snort. And the roach part is because you can survive and weasel your way through every situation. You can take that as a point of pride. But snorting, you can't. No. The pig part, that's because you snort, buddy. One, the first couple videos I put out, I was sick. I was snorting. Pulse nasal drip does not go away. It gets better or worse depending on weather, uh, humidity, other factors. It just so happens today. It's I treatable. I, I might have had it because I had to wake up early and I thought my body would react badly. So what is the big deal about this? You can treat it. That's the big deal. And you decide not to. And when you appear on somebody else's thing, you don't snort. That's that's what it is. So it makes you seem like you don't have the work ethic enough to not snort in your own stuff. Or it makes it seem like you're snorting to piss people off on purpose, which makes you look like an asshole. That's how it looks like. The post-nasal jam, the snorting. What is, that's like making fun of someone because it's something they can't help, right? Yeah, you can treat it, though. It's, 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 I don't get it. If someone could explain to me how awful this You can help having ba bad eyesight, but you can always get glasses, right? So we can treat it, make it a little bit better. Just like with post-nasal drip, okay? It's not like you're actually disabled or something and you can't help it, and you can't fix it, and you can't make it better. This thing is, you know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? I don't know what you're saying, Phil. Purple Pickle did a super chat. You're afraid of anime boobs. Yes, I'm terrified. Dark Viking says... He is terrified. I really tried to help you out. Big ups to you for doing it. Kim is not the best person. But, you know, it could maybe help you a bit. All right. Thank you for that. See here. Lane Litwick says, what's the difference if everyone already labels you a loud <laughs> Okay, before th this gets uh, this gets wiped away, somebody in this chat sends a super chat. Even if you had to lie, you should have at least had your story straight before plunging into, oh, and we get annihilated. Wow. <laughs> wow, this fucking rat fucker. Um, before plunging into that interview, it looks like, it, it looks terrible. I don't know how in how nobody here cares three laughing emojis and this got violated immediately couldn't even read it uh thank you for the membership uh wombo combo Chocolate starfish! oops wrong stream wow because there's a difference in how you portray yourself on the internet i put out legit content in my opinion Legit content. Look at this stream right now. It's illegitimate. It's it's trash. What on this stream besides In my opinion, you you you're free to disagree, of course. Me putting on a hat and a vest, which doesn't matter. It's just still me under it. What exactly is lol cowish what we're doing right now? Am I freaking out? Reacting like everyone's in a while. Uh, delusion is lol cowish. Narcissism definitely a lol cow trait. Denial is a lol cow trait. Uh, people laughing at you and you can't figure out why is literally the definition of a lol cow. So yes, this by a lot of categories, by a lot of parameters, is what a lol cow does. So yes, you are a lol cow, Phil. You can't escape it. You never will. You can be in denial for as long as you want. That's that's your right to be. But people can still call you out for being in denial and they can laugh at you and they can milk you for laughs, which is something that people do to lol cows. There we go. Uh, thank you, Featured Nightmare, for the subscription style subscription ship. Do something stupid over the top. You can see yes, everyone, yes. Say that's lol college, but for the most part, if you look at my content today, it's nothing like that. If I do a lol college cast, you're literally creating that environment. Everyone will just say, well, he's on the cast, you know, and that's it. He's that's on the cast, cast, dude. Right? That celebrity. The reason that Boogie and, and Wings are doing that boxing match. Can we be honest about this? They are Let's be honest. He said it outright. He's desperate. He's he is desperate. Right now. He doesn't know what he's going to do moving forward for money because he lost all his money. They need that help. Okay. They, they can't. They, they don't know what they're going to do, right? So far, right, as of now, I'm not in insanely desperate straits. I'm, things are tight for sure. But it's, you know what I'm saying? I, why am I going to degrade myself down and ruin everything that I've worked on for 15 years just for the sake of short-term personal gain? That's actually ironic because this is the same guy who degrades himself by begging like a bitch uh, for a couple of uh, tens of dollars in tips. Because sometimes he begs like a dog 
and gets twenty dollars. And that's how the stream ends. It's just him begging and humiliating himself, which I consider to be humiliating. If you have to degrade yourself to this extent to be begging for people, pointing out, oh, you guys, you uh, support today has been very slow for, for like $20. And sometimes, yeah, he's going to get $100, but it has to be one of those days. So, yes, that is you are degrading yourself. You are. And blowing bubbles for people who you admit are not children and are in their at least mid 20s 30s 40s that is degrading yourself because you're blowing bubbles for them come on man i don't think it's worth it that's bringing up your your personal like how many bills you have what kind of bills you have having to tell this to the internet that is degrading and if it's not for you then you kind of pass the you pass a certain threshold of degrading yourself where you don't even find it to be degrading anymore, which really speaks badly of you. So you kind of like way off the deep end. My take. You can disagree. That's fine. You can disagree. No, that's not like that's not how takes work, man. It's not like you just say some outrageous, stupid shit. And then you're like, yeah, you can disagree. You know, I think I think um, I think. I don't think anything. You can disagree. Of course I could use the help, but again, it's short-term game versus long-term perspective. What's the point of getting a short-term help if it dries up within a year or whatever, right? It's a one-time deal or whatever. Maybe there'll be some residuals on the show. Yeah, you can save that up. You can save up the short-term game. Won't degrade himself wearing this hat and vest. Oh, you know, hat and vest and the, the, the bubbles and stuff. You can you can kind of do the mental gymnastics to justify that. Of course, if you're him and you call other people clowns and you call them shills and you insult the color of their hair and stuff, it makes them look like a hypocrite, of course. But in a way, if you genuinely don't take yourself too seriously, even though he takes himself way too serious, you can justify this as being goofy. Come on, I've done a lot of goofy stuff on my streams. I've done karaoke stuff. I've done the other stupid shit. I've taken shots for likes. But that's just like you can see through the general vibe of the stream that the person is not taking it too serious. But he is taking it super serious. He is uh, running a business. It's a real business. It's not. He's not a lol cow. Of course. But what's the point of doing that if then all my streams are ruined? I can't even do a normal stream anymore. All my hardcore fans who literally oh. support me. I love how meaningful this content was. There you go. Keep in mind he SHS on his fans and tells them I'm not your friend, but help me please you ungrateful in unicorn. <laughs> You're un un ungrateful unicorn. Yeah, ungrateful un entitled is what you actually meant to say. Was that what you were actually meant to say? I think that's what Yosef was saying, you guys. I don't know why he didn't come out. My inputs didn't come out. But yeah. He shits on them, then it's like, oh, you guys are my friends, but we're not friends. You're just, like, friendly, but you also pay my bills. Go figure. Thank you for the super chat. Me through it. <laughs> Quit, because they're like, I don't want to, I can't, he, it's ruined. Every time I go to Phil's streams, a bunch of trolls saying he's a lol cow, joking about disgusting stuff. I can't put up with it. Yeah, yeah, Sorry. yeah. You can ban them. The meaningful stuff for you guys is way more important than a, a quick payday. You see? That's my take. Shout out payday. Bruce DLX did a super chat. I think King's narcissistic. He did make a good point. The fact you make well above the average American, but you still ask your audience for more. Food. You are narcissistic, Phil. Okay. Okay. Fair enough. You can disagree. Void did a super chat. I respect your reasons for holding up morals. We really need it. it would help you with taxes. That's why I think you're not thinking. <laughs> <laughs> Phil, you're not thinking. I can see that you're trying to be a moral dude. Wait. No way, dude. No way. Did Lance Riddick die? Are you are you kidding me? Are you serious? No fucking way. No fucking way. Oh my god. This fucking sucks, dude. He was awesome. Oh my god. Lance Riddick was badass, man. This fucking sucks. This sucks. Rest in peace, Lance Reddick. This fucking sucks. Trust me, I was thinking. There was oh. a lot of things. What did he die from? Narcissism, you beat me to it. No narcissist will ever humble themselves and join Team's offer. He must be in full control and prideful. Bro, he is like a he is like textbook in every single textbook that exists. What like what happened to him? What the fuck? Uh, 
uh, is there like any, any sort of thing or it's just like he passed away? This fucking sucks, dude. The other day I was playing uh, Horizon Forbidden West and I was like, because he plays the role of Silence and I saw him uh, and I was like, dude, Lance Reddick is fucking cool as hell, man. I love this dude. He's awesome. Fuck, this, this shit sucks. But at least he's in he's in a lot of really cool stuff that people appreciate. He was so cool, man. He was always cool. You see him on like social media and he like makes a like some cool short video about it and you watch it and it's like so wholesome. Fuck me. Thinking going on, for sure. Hmm. Fun of thinking. Yeah, he was in John Wick as well. He was in, in so many cool stuff. And you always like when you see him and it's like, hey, it's 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 Lance Riddick. It's so cool. He adds like the layer of coolness and niceness of fucking like the in anything that he's in. God damn it. King Goken, I, I see I disagree. I don't think your fans would leave. I think they would. I think what's happened is we've now over the last several years, we've created a community here on DSP Gaming. And no, you haven't created a community, dude. You haven't. You've created an echo chamber. That's why you can get off a podcast where they shit on you. They shit down your throat. And they also try and help you. And you can get off of there and jump on your little echo chamber soapbox and start fucking deluding yourself and getting people yes men to blow smoke up your ass. That's what you get. That's your community a new community over on DSP Reacts, correct? Um, and this is a community that is the reason I do this. As I as I said on the show, and I've said this with you to you guys many times, I love what I do. You know, Craig says, why not just quit? I don't... Quit? 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 He has nothing else to do, dude. Him being a pet owner is what makes me the most disgusted and sad of the whole situation. Yeah, I guess. I mean, if, if he had a kid, it would be even worse. But, but having a pet, being responsible for them, yeah. Even though I don't like Jasper. I'm the biggest Jasper hater. Jasper always makes the stream suck. But yeah, that is true. But uh, yeah, Phil quitting. What is he going to do? What is he going to do? He can't do anything. He's not going to do anything. Come on. Let's be honest. I'm going to quit doing what I love because of these people on the internet being disgusting. Quit doing what he loves. Yeah, everybody loves playing video games. Getting paid a lot for it. Everybody would love that. Everybody. Quit. No, I'm not going to quit. I'm going to continue. I'm going to persevere. I'm going to succeed past this nonsense. We're going to succeed. Like we've been succeeding so far. Views dropping off, subs dropping off, memberships dropping off, everything drops. We're gonna succeed. We're gonna succeed. Why would I quit? We're succeeding, you guys. We're, we're doing it. We're making it. And now he's licking his lips. I want to take a, a good screenshot of this one because this is hot. With the, the glasses and the vest and the lip licking type of situation going on. It's fantastic. I love it too much. So He loves it too much. He's addicted to it. Is he addicted to it? He's addicted to playing video games, you guys. He's addicted to his job. He's a workaholic. So at, what, at what means? By In a gotcha-holic. Paid by Keemstar, now everything's ruined. No, that's not success. That's changing and being... That's like saying, I'm General Electric. I am a company that makes... No, that's not like that. Around me and I just keep striving to be better. Keep striving. I think I'm going to end the stream here. I'm, I'm getting fucking worn out of this bullshit. I want to go to bed. And the, the Lance Reddick shit made this worse because it's annoying. Because then I got to close the tab and think about this dude who I thought it was cool. And he's fucking dead. And then I got to watch Dark Side fucking Phil. And that's, that's fucking annoying, honestly. It, it bummed me out. And I'm just going to get super toxic about him. And I'm going to tell him to do some stuff uh, that uh, is not correct according to YouTube's terms of service. Such as sucking a dog off. Hey, man, I want you to suck a dog off. So, uh, let me tell you something, brother. Let me tell you something, brother. When I hold a man's penis, I tell you what I do. I hold on to it tight, brother. Because if that penis is fucking a Philip, woo, that's how it happens. That's what I mean. That's what I'm talking about. Thank you, uh, Pasta. And uh, see you guys over at the WPIG stream, which is going to be the premiere, the hottest new thing. The, uh, what's it called? Come on, man. I came up with the name. I can't even figure out what's it called. The Flare Up. Where is it? I, I can't see it. Here. Ah, there we go. The Flare Up, Episode 1. So make sure to go and smash the notification thing. And show up and see what it's going to be about. I promise a new premiere of something you've never heard before. And also a lot of some things that you haven't heard before. So go check it out. Go subscribe to the channel. Anthony Fantano. 
Uh, if you like it, if you hate it, what did you rate it? You're the best, you're the best. What should I do next? Um, Anthony Fantano. Forever.